Microphone check one two. What is this? The JBP boys bike to business again. I want to thank a high power for getting me here with my good guys today. Mm. Welcome to episode four hundred and seven. 407 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Good brother Maul is here today. Parks Valley is here. White Mamba is here. E-Rab is here. Savon the Don is here. Corey is here. And Alex the Great is here. Uh, I want to shout out to our sponsors and advertisers, our YouTube audience. Subscribe. uh, Swipe up. Put some shit here's where it would go. Hit the bell. All of thingy. that shit. Whatever you need to hit to get where you need to go to keep the algorithms rhythming. Mm. With that said, how's everybody doing, man? How you feeling? Good, good. Great. Maul. Cash app. Yeah. Oh, you know the vibes. <laughs> brought, brought to you by, powered by, empowered by, sponsored by, tolerated by uh, our favorite app in the world. None other than Cash App if you don't have it. You should. Actually, Cash App was, I uh, think, number six on the top apps downloaded in uh, 2020. Congratulations to them. You know what Cash App got rid of that I love? The I'll hit you back later. I paid for things. People like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to get you back. Never get me back. No, open your phone now. Download oh, Cash App and okay. get me back now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, over, it's over Good. for get me back now. Yeah, yeah. Open your phone yeah. and get me back now. Yeah. Now, for 2021, Cash on number got 10, rid of you deadbeats. here's the full list of apps of the top down most downloaded apps in 2020, Zoom 1, of TikTok course. 2, Disney 3, YouTube 4, Instagram 5, Facebook, Snapchat. Yo, congratulations to 45. That is tough to die on the internet. Like for all of these people to ban you together, you had to be a real dick. Uh, Instagram real at 5, Facebook at 6, Snapchat at 7, Messenger at 8, Gmail at 9, at 10, Cash App. 11 Amazon Shopping, Netflix, Google Maps, DoorDash, Spotify, WhatsApp, Venmo. Google at 18, 19, Google Meet. Wow, man. The world is changing right before our very eyes. Sure Wait, is. actually, before we get into that. So in 2020, uh, 2021, it's about getting to the root of the problem. Maul and I, behind the scenes, were just having an argument that we've been having for about how long? Two years now? What argument was that? <clears throat> uh, we had a couple. Data and research. Data and research? Yeah. We was is it, is it easier to get on now? <laughs> <laughs> You want to rehash sure. that one? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, when I'll say something to you and then you say to me, uh, you say, no, the fan said this. And then I say, well, how did you know that? And then you say, the listenership hit me. And then I say, the whole listenership hit you? And you was like, nah. Yeah, no, nah, just just certain people that listen and follow the show. They just, you know, when we have, we put out an episode, they jump in our mentions. And, I mean, they tag us all in a lot of shit. All right, well, it's important for you to know that the dad and research part is a lot more sophisticated mm-hmm. for me than mm-hmm. just that. That's part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh but it's about the different behavioral patterns of people in the different communities. Mm-hmm. It's about the upticks and downticks. Like I'm watching our episodes in a lot of different places, what performed, where. Like it's just a lot. It's it's deep. What you're saying is a big part of it, but I'm not just listening to them niggas. We say all the time out them niggas don't know too much. Yeah, no, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying just listen to them. <laughs> well, we I'm appreciate your support. That, they, that is the way we interact with our listeners. We just go off impact. Yeah. Impact, I think, is what you're talking about. To when, me, that's when the you most could, important. When you could feel it. When, the, I tell, uh, when, I tell, when I tell the suits to get out the office and walk around the block with me, come come get lunch with me. Feel feel what it feel like out there. Feel what it's like when you are impacting streets that you've never been on. Yeah, feel some what of it's that. like to be a major celebrity walking to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All the pictures asked for. <laughs> <laughs> if that's how you want to interpret that, Roy. <laughs> I missed you stepping on all my amazing points. Listen, man. That's, that's, good, what, that's what I'm here good, for. Good, I'm good a good friend. Back. Man, thanks, man. What are those? A6 you stepping on me with? <laughs> man, man. Jesus. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Footprints everywhere. <laughs> Gonna be a lot, lot of A6 and New Balances stormed the Capitol. That's a fact. 
and like um, the all plain Nikes. Yeah, a lot of payless. <laughs> swagless thugs. <laughs> Bunch of swagless mobsters out there. Um, so where do we begin? Where do we begin? Wherever you want to go, wherever you want to start, let's do it. All right, shout out to me. <laughs> I, ro- I rolled out another one on you niggas. Y'all let me do it. The genius is I do it right in front of your face. Shit is crazy. Another one, huh? We didn't even see it coming. Shout out to my network. These niggas trading shout outs just to network. And I got a whole leg work, nigga. You don't, don't like it? I just no. be main on you. Okay. I'm <laughs> see, see look, 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 Yo, shut the fuck no, up. No, listen, I think, no, I think self-congratulation is very important for Indeed. people. I don't think they do it you enough. You think I want to wait just, around for y'all to do it? It's just funny to hear that. <laughs> wait, let me hold my breath and wait for y'all to congratulate me on anything. <laughs> I just I just gave you flowers yesterday for the records you was playing. What are you talking about? I deserve 15 <laughs> years of flowers <laughs> from you, white mortal. <laughs> what the hell is going on? The hell is wrong with him in here? Anyway, congratulations to me. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, Karen Civil and Ming Lee uh, on, Karen. on their brand new podcast, Girl, I Guess, uh, January 21st. This is not an ad. Uh, January 21st, air, okay airing everywhere through me. I want to thank them for uh, trusting me to be a part of this and allowing me to be a fly on the wall during their journey. I also want to shout out to Bridget Kelly, Mandy, Olivia. See, the thing is, that needs to happen more. Well, we working over here. We working. I told you niggas I'm not playing with y'all in 2021. That's just the bottom line. I plan to make this shit look like a magic show out here. Y'all wait till I find me a game. Are you play games? <laughs> nah. I don't play no games, man. Nah. Give him, that, give him that little abracadabra. No fucking Let him games, know. you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this with y'all. Yeah, shout out to the ladies, man. Shout out to the ladies. Uh, Look at you all in women's business. Is that women's business? I suppose. I mean, in the business of women. I mean, yes, that is a, true. That's a real white way of saying, saying, look at you creating ownership and yeah, amplifying amplifying black women in the culture. Yeah. <laughs> Especially hip hop <laughs> and hip hop, women in hip hop. No. Compliment. Yeah. I'm, I don't think all in women's business is a bad thing the way the internet makes it so. Yeah, they kind of tricked us with that. They did. Yeah. Like, and, we could be of help right. sometimes. All right, listen. And the big and the big bro thing now. I see all the women saying, do you have a big bro? I think more dudes need big bros. I think it's okay, mm. guys. It's okay if he has a big bro. That's we true. should encourage this behavior. That is true. We need people to guide the youth. I don't yeah. think they mind to, to play devil's advocate here. I don't think they mind dudes having a big bro. I think they mind when it's displayed. I think they mind when they big bro They're, someone that should not be big bro. No, nah, because they, they don't know. How do they know who should and shouldn't be big bro? You know who should and yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, look at, look at them saying, all How do women business? know who should and should not be big bro? Yeah. Women know. They might know. They might know better than us, yeah. to be honest. How? You. They know. Seriously? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Women, women, when niggas women, listeners, can y'all tell me how y'all know when a man shouldn't be big bro? Isn't that women and men business? Yeah, but women know because they know a lot of things about men that men would not know about other men. Yeah. So that they're looking true. at it like, why are you calling him big bro? Yeah, but like, you only know that because that stuff is prevalent in that man's role in a woman's life. You can't speak to what that man's role would be in a man's life because you're not a man. Yeah, but if a woman knows, like I said, women know men on a deeper level than men know. How many little bros you got? How many little bros I got? I have a few. Not your fucking blood, Mo. No, I'm the youngest. I don't have, like, you talking about a the young younger brothers. brother. I'm talking about, like, dudes from my neighborhood. Oh, dudes okay. from, Yeah, a few of them. The young boys. Yeah. Just young dudes that I I see something in that I'm like, okay, he just needs to have somebody that's going to be like, nah, don't do that. I wanted to ask Parks and Rory how many little bros they got, but for some reason it feels like an inappropriate question because they white. Like, do y'all have a different word that y'all call, like, mentees? Mentees. Yes, I have a few mentees. Why is everybody laughing manatees. at that? But is that what it's <laughs> manatees. Manatees. I wasn't, yeah, like manatees. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny. Little Because that's what it really is, right? Yeah, it is. I don't, yeah, no, a little bro is, is a mentee to some degree. No, I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah, if I'm a mentee. Just a role model shaping that young man's life. Exactly. There we go. Here we go. OG, Y'all big bro, bro mentor. Summer. It's all similar. Here's my question to you gentlemen. Educate, uh, excuse me. Educate our audience. If you're a little bro, mm-hmm. and I promise y'all we have stuff to get into. Impeachment is important. Um, <laughs> but if you're a little bro, 
what is your expiration date? How long before you vocalize, yo, I'm not a little bro no more to your uh, big bros? And same for a big bro. Like, uh-huh. if, you, if you have a mentee or a little bro or somebody that you uh, relay information to and try to guide and help out, like, what's you, the, what's the time limit on that? You don't think someone should be a little bro for life? Never that. Why well, not? no, to that per- like never that Why to not? that person that's always going to huh? be Why there not? because it's because it's time for it's time for all of that to be applicable now. But what if big bro keeps elevating while little bro is also elevating? I don't think it you're works. You're still a little bro. I don't think it works like that. Me personally, I think it works like like uh, like father son grandfather like like that shit. Like I think you're- Puff can have a lot of little bros probably for the rest of his life because he's going to keep being Puff. On a even if bigger, the even if the level. little bro passes the big bro, that's still his little bro. It never yeah. changes with age. I think Dre will still be R- great big ex- bro for a great example. Uh, Puff, I like that. Yeah. Yes, Puff is big bro and OG to most people. He's yeah. a, he's been around, sure. But his OGs, like let's say if Andre Harrell, rest in peace, boy, do I miss you, Dre. Yes. Let's say if Andre Harrell was Puff's OG, mm-hmm. at some point, part of the OGness. Is to move True. and allow yeah, agree. that person to be great. Because if you don't, you might stifle, you might step on that. Sure. Back to Rory's still, ASICs. But that's still, <laughs> that's still, Andre Harrell is still Puff's uh, big bro. That's what I'm saying. Even you know, if but he gets out the way, but whatever, still, that's life. But what, that's what I'm saying OG is that, but what I'm saying is that's part of, that's part of, to Parks' point, OG elevation. Move. Oh, you, no, but you're part of, done. But part of being a big we bro sh- is. I knowing- shouldn't have to talk to you so much now. No, yeah, no, that, absolutely. Yeah. But it part of being a big like you bro, should be telling me how you handled that. Oh no, absolutely. <laughs> but that's what the 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 so in 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 terms of Andre Harrell and Puff, yes, at some point, Puff became more. He became Puff. He became Puff. Yeah. So Andre Harrell, you no, know, he. But please believe, Puff still talks to Andre Harrell behind the scenes and gets advice and gets Did. mentorship. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's something forever. It doesn't mean. Part of being an OG is knowing when your little bro or your young boy knows and has the tools to now move on his own. Like, he gets mm-hmm. it now. Yeah. So you you naturally move out the way. But he's going to always go back to you when things get rough, when, sure. you you know, motivation. You might not be motivated. You might need some inspiration. You might need something. That's part of that. That is forever. When somebody is your OG or your big bro, it doesn't matter how big you become in life or where they are in their life. You always go to that person for personal things and for things that you may not be able to see and things just because experience and age is a lot that comes with that yeah and that's forever that doesn't mean like no you definitely don't stand in the way and 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 hold back your younger your younger brother or your little bro but you give him enough tools and when you see that he has it and he he gets it and he knows how to move you move out the way and just watch him afar but he's gonna you always go back to your og and and you're always gonna need some type of words and some type of Leadership from them. That's the forever thing. That never changes. Yeah, I guess the the deeper conversation. Oh wait, that there's you another opinion is, on this. Okay, uh, is when your little bro, big bro relationship is contemporary. Like it's someone that's your age, your you know level of experience ish, but maybe more successful. Mm-hmm. That you maybe can outgrow in a different way. Yeah, you know what I'm but saying. But I would say that's just your brother. I don't yeah, have a big. I don't brother. have a big bro. It's my age. <laughs> That's your age? No, you shouldn't no, have Nor one. will I. Yeah, no, you shouldn't have I mean, let, me, let me make that clear. Yeah. But there's a lot of that. To the, there's people to the 39 that are, and under. There's people okay. that are big bro and people younger than them. Oh, for currently, sure. So. That happens pretty often. All right, well, let's, that's insane. let's talk to our more savvy listeners now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's insane. Though I don't think that was a bad call. No, it's... it's it was a bad call. It is savvy. Yeah. It's just the words that, you know, it's become kind of a joke, so... But there is something there. I agree. All right, let's start. Actually, yeah. before we start, because I played ball and I meant to ask y'all what you think your reaction would have been in studio to to the producer just playing that beat by itself. Hmm. I mean, in that era, that 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 beat goes. <laughs> I love when y'all don't answer me. Thank you. What would have been my reaction, though? Huh? Yeah. It was a hard beat. At that time, that was kind of the sound. Yeah. That was a hard beat. I'm not going to automatically say I would have said that's the one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not saying that I would have said that's the one, but... But there's a lot of beats that I would have, if I just heard that, that's trash. I'm not listening, to, but that especially, makes artists dope. Especially looking back that. now. Like, it's hard to kind of judge music in that sense 10, 15 years later. It's like looking at your outfits from that era. See, it's easy for me. I, that makes it easier for me. I understand why that would be more difficult for some. That song was real unorthodox for me when it came out. Yeah, the beat like, or the song? Every, the beat, 
the song, everything. What was the beat on Orthodox? That was the sound. What was that beat doing? I couldn't. All right, let me see. I didn't understand. Yeah, what, I didn't understand what that beat was doing. And it's Saturday, so we can get geeky for a minute. It's fine. Yeah. It's kind of coming off the uh, <laughs> the uh, Indian kind of sound. Forget that his hook. Timbaland hooks. brought. Like the non non uh, Western traditional musically, you're saying the sound, but who else did this sound work for besides any Dipset member? Uh, at, at that time, the sound, the, the melodic sound of it was being used a lot at that time. Let, let's but listen I mean, to it without the amazing hook that Jimmy put on there. <laughs> I'm not in the the studio going, yo, this is gonna be my single. Turn it down, some. For the YouTube people, we're playing the uh, instrumental, the ball, and and I'm with Rory. If somebody comes in the studio and plays this, I'm going to nod out of respect for a few minutes. I mean, for a few seconds. And then I'm going to say, next. I feel like, like that's, that's 2005 this don't, or whatever This don't was. pull from no, me is all I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like seven. you might have felt differently then. It wasn't that 07, right? 06. 06. 06. 06. 06. Yeah, 06 maybe. We didn't win in 06, did we? 07. The Giants? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Either way. All right, let's try it a different way. If if you're in the studio and, and the grind and, and the grinding beat comes on, what happens? Well, that's a little different. Mayhem. Well, no. Mayhem. So you didn't even think about it, though. You just said it's a little different. Walk me through it. If you go in the studio and a producer, not Pharrell, not, who dresses amazing, has the best skin in the world, and is a multimillionaire and gave everybody hits, and uh-huh. just a producer put the grinding beat on. Something is pulled from you, right? But you walk away from... He looking at you saying, yo, go lay it. Yeah, this is on. Yo, go lay it. And you like, yo, all right, I'm going to lay it. But you going to build around me? You going to build around me after I'm done? And he says, no, it's finished. <laughs> Turn that and up. you say what? You can't play grinding low, bro. There's rules in life. Fam, if I'm a rap, like, the Clips was just rappers at that point. Yeah. No song, like, they was just rappers from Virginia. They hear this. Turn yeah, it off. They going to rap. I know, but I'm saying as an artist... <laughs> Before this is grinding, uh-huh. during the creation of it, mm-hmm. if the producer tells you to just rap to that and it's finished, uh-huh. what is your initial thought or your thought process? Well, I'll say that uh, having worked for you for many years, you never really liked minimalistic beats. That's not something that ever appealed to you, but that's not the case for everybody. Well, part and, of and so many records start out with just a drum loop and then the rapper raps over it and then the producer goes in and changes everything and adds to it. A because, lot of times. And that's my thing. If you've ever been in a session with a producer that was creating on the fly, you've heard just drums come on for Mad Long. It sounded like the hardest drum loop in the world. Uh-huh. And then a noise got added, and it was the worst thing you ever heard. True. Yeah. Or then a melody got added, and it was the worst thing you ever heard. Or the snare, the high ass, something went in the wrong spot, and now it's just not the hardest thing you heard in the world anymore. Yeah. I hate producers that overthink shit. Like, why did you like this beat? I liked it because of the drum loop. All right, then maybe just leave that. Right. Yeah, but on the flip side of that, there's the artists that come to the producers saying, "Hey, I need a I need a Maybach music." Right. Hey, I need a I need a balling. Give me a balling. Yeah. I hey, I didn't. A, I need I, a bridge. I need a change up for the chorus. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I can't see an artist going in to say, "Give me a balling off what we're saying with that beat." Like, I could totally understand after Blueprint. Well, when going, grinding came out, yo, I need a grinding. Oh, for sure. Give me a grind. That's a little different. I need another grind. Jimmy Jimmy made ballin'. Jimmy's hook made ballin'. His cadence made ballin'. Like, it wasn't the beat that made ballin' to me at all. Grinding, push him out, it's destroyed, Pharrell killed the hook. That beat by itself is still fire. Yeah. Well, that's what I can see someone going, yo, give me a grinding. That's That's one one of the most inspirational beats of all. People were trying to make grinding for 10 years after that song came out. Yeah, but that's what makes a great artist. Sometimes you hear a beat and it could be the worst instrumental ever. Mm-hmm. I only bring and up... When you're going in, lay what you lay and do that, it's like, oh, this is amazing. I only bring up grinding because we know what that beat and song did, but I don't, I'm not sure what I would have done in the studio if that beat came. I would have thought it was not, not finished. I'm pretty right. sure a lot of people passed on that beat. I'm sure too, yeah. But again, Joe, you also I want like, their names. You also... <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean, I, we, I want know, the names of the people that passed on the grinding beat. We know a lot of that people pass on, and, and it was like, that's a sure. fucking... Like, we know who passed on old boy. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then we saw what Cam did with who that. passed the old boy again? Hove. Yeah, but, but I don't know if that's fair because he was acceptable. working on something and walked in. But and that's acceptable. Just Blaze was like, "Yo, I'm saying it's not." He passed on "Pump It Up" too, but I'm pretty sure at a lot of other people level, passed on it. But at that at that level, you're getting everybody's a folder. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, including absolutely. Justin. Well, Hill. what they what they believe is their age. Niggas point. like me can't afford to miss out on the I'm a hustler or whatever the beat is that worked. Because like I'm not just getting a whole bunch of those walking in the door. Right. Mm-hmm. Hove could pass on to pump it up, and uh, old boy and then let me try to think of what that would have sounded like. Yeah, I don't know if I want to hear that. Pump it what? up. We heard pump it up. No, no, we, we have. Don't do that. No, he, <laughs> he, he addressed that one. I'm just pretty saying, quickly. we heard what he did on pump it up. Yeah, got Mano out of here. <laughs> don't do yes. that. Yes, it's my friend. But I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> yes, Hove can can get anyone out of here. He got you out of here on your beat. First of all, no, he didn't. And number two, <laughs> talk your yeah, shit, King. Sip your green tea, nigga. <laughs> take, a, take a little sip of that green yeah, we, sauce. We know what the people said about that. How did we get back on? What they said? <laughs> <laughs> what they said? You got washed. Wait, they said it in front of you, and you was comfortable. Oh, people say that. Back to your data and research. <laughs> no, your data and research said you back double back quick. Dad. No, you responded. Back. You responded. You know what your data and research was saying too. The same thing that Jada Kiss's data and research said over that 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 track with Maya. You're what? Yeah, you know what I'm. You're talking about. You're wrong, Mo. No, I'm not. That's why I hate. You have to put an album out. Why? I'm not ours. I don't rap. See, that's I mean, like a sca- that's like a scapegoat. To no, me. I'm just saying that's what the people were saying though back then. They was you got you you got washed on that. I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's what the 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 people were saying. When when and I, I and I when? and I believe that you felt that too because you responded rather quickly. You made another. You put another eighty on that maybe. I don't oh, know. Hold Sixty four. By the way, someone can't on someone can't get washed when they were creating a song and then someone came I on just to rap. Here. What you mean? Joe went into I made making a, Pump It Up as, as a song, not right. as this is going to be my best display of rapping ability. Hove did a freestyle over the beat of him just rapping. He wasn't trying to make a song. The song already existed. But then Joe you responded You can't compare those two verses. All right, let's right? look at it like this. Because I don't want to spend time on me or Pump It Up in 2021. If Maul, who's not an artist, but mm-hmm. let's pretend you were an artist. Okay. You put, a, you put a song out about plaid. That's what your song would be about, like a new fashion trend is all right plaid when I'm rocking it, plaid, I look bad like, I would never make a song like that but go ahead you would how do we know you're not an artist so your first that. song will be I would never like I would never plaid. make a song about plaid and <laughs> these bitches they look sad I would never do that come on that's a trash ass rap nice you talk yeah I know I would never do that <laughs> <laughs> I would never make a song uh, about plaid uh, <laughs> oh oh hey see what that beat do hey. See what that beat uh, do? Plaid might sound good all on right, that. All right, Plaid. Yeah, when go. you got it done, you look sad. Yeah, but when Maul rocked that, he looked bad. See? It now bad. all the you haters see what is, do? Uh, yeah. come on. It makes Joe uh, Rod look at 85. Uh, that's, what, that's what that breaking beat does. Why you turn it down oh, like I, I wasn't ripping? Come on, Plaid on the pants, Plaid on the shirt, yeah. Plaid on the streets right. when I'm out doing dirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plaid. Yeah, come on, come on, Maul. Give me some. That's a trash-ass record. All right, turn it off. Now Now we on to something. It's Saturday. Turn this off for a minute. No, no, tell me off. No, we understand. Tell me what you want your song to be about so me and Rory can make it on the spot like that dude. Let me tell you what Amigo song sounds like. First, no. you'll add the this. But then <laughs> you'll do. He got, he no, he killing that. Then you'll be killing that shit. <laughs> that shit. I'm like, that's exactly how they made it. Man, Tory Lane should take this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that guy is good. That, that guy's guy. great. Yo, no, just fire. give me your content right now. And because it's a Saturday, lighthearted, little fun podcast, me and Rory and Paul create jam for you. Um... Cookouts in the summer. Oh, because we haven't had those in a in a year. Shit. Okay. Mm. Oh, this, this is weird. this gets fun. You go after my boy. What? I, I was at the how cookout. Do you he was want, still a lookout. How do you want new? No, we can't get to the verse first, Rory. Let's create the hook. Um, how, what do you want the cadence of your chorus to be? A well, call and response chorus? No, no. What? I'm trying no. to create this shit. We don't want no call and response. A chorus. street anthem. <laughs> um, something that will play. Maul definitely wants a street anthem. <laughs> no, I don't want a street anthem. Something, right, something that will play continuously. You're not playing along, so forget for about years, it. Something right. that will play for years. Let's cookouts. look at this. You put your song out, Plaid, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, who's the biggest rapper in the world? Drake. I know, but we talked about Drake too much. So give me another one. Kendrick. Okay. Kendrick comes out, mm-hmm. <laughs> removes you off Plaid. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then Ima- imagine Kendrick coming out of his lair to address Plaid. <laughs> Wait, mm-hmm. get your vocals out of there. Kills Plaid mm-hmm. like on some metaphorical shit. Yeah. You, how do you feel? You mad about that? Are you sad that Kendrick killed Plaid? Or you take way? it as a, a compliment? 
It's a, oh, it's a compliment, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely coming back with with, a, with another yeah, freestyle behind ready, his. Coming back to get <laughs> tore up on plaid. <laughs> give, give me that plaid. Give me that plaid. <laughs> what I just said about jacket. you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. That's what I, I just, just said about you. I know. Come on, let's talk about James Harden. Okay. Mm. Talk you, about it. Are you too nervous? Me? No. I mean, are, I are any of you, of your women acquaintances safe now? Are they, are they yours anymore? James Harden got traded from the Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets. This is not a sports podcast, and normally we wouldn't begin with sports, but this affects us in so many different ways. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> Much yeah. deeper. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. No, it does not. Yeah. I'm fucking watching that Brooklyn Road schedule. I bet you are. Don't do that. Okay, my bad. I like road games. Okay. And Durant. Yeah. <laughs> Shorty, you've been asking to come to New York for two years. Going to be right on that hardwood at the Barclays. Yeah. Yo, the allure of I'm New too York busy. is I can't making come. it I, well, you're, you're really the tough to get them to fly to me. I think everything. They like cool. yo, it's open still. Yeah. Like ah, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> they like well, I'm at is cool. <laughs> they like nigga, I don't care about Jersey. Yeah. Is New York open or not? Nah? nah. James Harden was traded from the Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets, and what has to be one of the worst trades that I've ever seen on paper. And for some reason, none of the ESPN <laughs> analysts and experts are saying that. Mm. <laughs> what you mean, you mean Jared this Allen? This is was one of it? the worst trades ever. All due respect to all parties involved. These are great players. But what the fuck is this? I mean, what were you going to get? Stop it. I don't know. What were you going to get? The, we know who the Nets weren't giving up. I'm giving you four draft picks and four pick swaps? That's supposed to run until 2027? They, they're all in for right I now. Think, and I, I already like have a guard that does all of the things that you do? This is when some people are going to jump in and tell me Kyrie Irving doesn't do all the same things that James Harden does. I'm not dignifying that conversation. Yeah, I've seen uh, Shannon Sharp, had, he called Kyrie a butler. I've been a, little, I've been a little upset at, 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 some, at some of the way that the media and press has handled Kyrie. Yeah, I didn't like, the way, I didn't like Stephen A. Smith saying that Kyrie should retire. I don't, I don't think Stephen A. Damn, should, I should have said that. that. Well, yeah, he, he said if his heart's not in basketball, he should retire. Oh, okay. It's not true. I think you know how many Kyrie's niggas are doing working a job where their heart is not in? Right. And I think and who Kyrie's says Kyrie's, heart is in who, yeah, who basketball. says his heart is not in basketball? Yes, yeah, unfair. Like that's well, the part I'm saying. Like. That's the, those are the whispers behind the scenes that uh, that he's on his activist shit. But I mean, he's been on act. That's who you, you can are. do both. By yeah, the you way. can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we yeah, just saw that. We just saw players in a bubble be on their activist shit and still play basketball. Like so does it. Yeah, I, I just didn't. I didn't like that. I don't like the yeah, way. Yeah, but they had the fire. Can, they had the fire turned up low. Like they had to step away from the stove for a little while. Kyrie shit ain't like that. It's up. Yeah, it's like so, what you okay. talking about, niggas in the bubble. The niggas in the bubble was activists. Yeah, I know. It was a little medium yeah, but, activists. But, but, but let's talk about. But let's it was talk a little about, lukewarm. Yeah, but let's talk about the other side of Kyrie when he does step on that court, though. Let's talk about that. Best, Se- best seems ball, like his heart's best, there. Best ball handler in the world. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I just don't like the way people are trying to make Kyrie seem like he's a troublemaker. I don't like the way they're trying to make it seem like he doesn't. Tell love me what the game. Enough of that. Tell me what you think about what I called you about and asked you about that you can't say. Oh, there's no. There's no validity to that. Got it. I'm sure our listeners really love when you guys do that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, something. I don't care. Everything everything for the pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm off yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah, no. There's no validity to that. Okay. And what I was saying is I hit Maul and heard that it was some, it was reasons outside of basketball that he wanted to be out of there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's all. Maul saying that's not true. But gotcha, Maul gotcha. said LeBron was a Nick and we celebrated. So <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we went out that night on the strip of Maul. <laughs> Bought the jersey. Now he's coming. They told me. Why was I? I <laughs> Bought the custom jersey. <laughs> you fucking. I don't think I ever said yeah, that. I'll let dude, you have that. I don't, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I ever, don't said, do I don't think I ever said LeBron was coming to I'm just Nick. picturing Joe going out to celebrate that night. <laughs> I went out that night. I took it to 14th Street. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that, but okay. I went right to Lotus. Hey! He's on his way. I don't think I, I, don't think I ever said that, but all right. Listen, James Harden is in Brooklyn now. How does this affect your roster? Are there coaching Ooh. changes that you need to make? How are you as an organization planning for oh, I'm great. Planning for one of the, the biggest and baddest to I'm, hit town? I'm, I'm great, man. I don't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't hang out in mm-hmm. the same place. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what? You think I'm talking about his dick size right now? Whoa. Is that what you <laughs> think? Is that why you're A-yoing me? You're I'm not playing with you twice. niggas here. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't affect me at all. You know I don't play in them, in them same streets that he plays in. I don't do that. Listen. Tossing the uh, Rory. Maybe we should get li- lying out of 2021. 2021. You got to call a spade a spade in 2021. We're not doing that. We, I'm lying? We have to take pod into the next level. Let's, Wait, let's, hold on. Let's, We're let's, responsible let's for teaching chatty. people how to pod. Let's Wait, get I'm, chatty and gossipy real quick. You don't think you and Harden are Eskimo brothers? 
Mm. I don't, what does that have that to do with me quick. not being I worried about chatty and gossip? <laughs> what, does, no, no, that's just, hey, <laughs> what does that have to do with me? What does, <laughs> that, what does that have to do with Lamar's me? Lamar's so being, offended. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what, what does that have to do with me? Like You said me. you don't play in the same streets. If you're an Eskimo brother with somebody, you've played on at least one block together. No, currently. Ma, now. that audition and shit you be doing is over with. What audition? What are you talking about? You have played for, in for the, the same street as James Harden. I said I don't play in the same streets. Not saying I haven't before. Currently, no. I don't. I don't hang out. In strip, I don't hang out in the clubs. I don't. I don't. They I don't close. Go to I was about to say it's COVID. Before they close, I nah, wasn't in the clubs. Nah, I don't do that. I used to do G5 this weekend. What does that mean to me? You just said you was going there. <laughs> no, I never said that, bro. What are you talking about? But I don't you club. would go there. I don't, I don't club. I don't go to strip clubs. That's <laughs> in theory. <laughs> you, but you that. would. But you would go. Maybe. I don't go to strip clubs, bro. You know that. <laughs> when we was when you was going yeah, out every week, well, was don't, well, don't put that on Harden's jacket that he only gets women from a strip club. And don't tell fair. people that I'm out I'm every week. Putting weekend. that on his jacket? You just said you don't play in the same streets I'm asking, and you don't go to strip club. Wait, 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 I put that on his jacket. Entire ESPN <laughs> put that on his jacket. What do you mean I put that on his jacket? <laughs> well, ESPN be lying too. I was in a strip club. They googled clubs. how many clubs were in Brooklyn last Har- night. Harden could have met like, a nice woman at Whole Foods <laughs> wait, looking for produce. I'm just saying I didn't put that on his jacket. That was funny. That is funny when they pulled up the stat that. uh on the, when James is in the city with mad strip clubs, he don't that's play what, well with some shit. This is what I'm saying. I said, I put that on his jacket. That's his jacket. Tail it to him. I was a strip club king in New York until Vlad stopped that. <laughs> right? Think, think about it. Like, really think about Vlad that. Vlad stopped it? Yeah. yeah. He, oh. ki- he killed a, a Come on, man. two decade like a, run. I wasn't going in there and Vlad was right there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't that's know scary. Come on, man. He was shook. It was a scary sight. I didn't know he, and, I didn't and know Vlad he was with a man him. that killed someone with his bare hands. True. Yo, didn't the I F- remember that? Yo, didn't the, <laughs> FBI, the FBI? Didn't the FBI come out and <laughs> say, <laughs> "Yo, fence. I know y'all thought Vlad was working with us, but he is working with us." Uh, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Yeah. We give him some of the questions and tell him who to interview, and we take every word of it and Wait. run it through our stenographer Wait. over here. Where did wow. the FBI say that? They said that. Where? <laughs> they they that. Twitter. <laughs> It was the FBI Yes It was the FBI clubhouse That said <laughs> That was Royce <laughs> <laughs> Oh man the I did F- read that somewhere though I'm sure They all know it's no, true they, No they, they said that they They know They listen to a lot of it. <laughs> Look at you idiots you know, that, That's what this, this That's Stop what they it. said that's Use what, your platform that's what responsibly they said. What did they mean though We done telling y'all what. He's not working for the I'm done telling y'all What the news said we know what they said. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm I am banning fucking uh the news at seven six a.m. on Fox Five. What? You're it's gonna, over you're now. Gonna get that done? No, for me. I'm okay, saying right. I'm I'm done. Boy, was they snarly with the news this week. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, were they some spicy little animals on the fucking news this week. I bet Shit didn't have nothing to do with Trump. Right. <laughs> and they was like. Yeah. They said, well, you know now, <laughs> they said he's in peace, but we'll see. <laughs> There's some recounting to do. I'm like, yo, I fucks with you. I watch you every morning. You tell me the weather. Listen, man. No, 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 Leave bro to edit. That's, that's, that's Maul's big bro. Who? <laughs> Who's my big bro? What? What do you mean what? We just had a whole pre-production talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you mean what? Anyway, uh, where we at? I don't want to talk about impeachment. Maul says James Harden uh, trade is not affecting his roster. No, I'll be in here with a uh, real time updates throughout the year on how it. <laughs> uh, no, he was affecting your roster when he was in Houston. <sighs> so I'm, I'm pretty sure that things are things are heating up now. <laughs> now that he's right here across the bridge, I don't know if he's lying right now. You know, you my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody meme that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yo, you know why I laugh at Maul? Because if you just listen to the position that he puts himself in mm. versus the position that the rest of the world is in, don't go to Maul. No, nah, nah, I don't play in that street. That's never happened. No, nah, I don't do that. It's impossible. No, I said no. Now, nah, how many times I got to tell y'all no, no? But you. <laughs> yeah, you, but, but you, you but you <laughs> now he's been affecting you well, how you know that more are you just saying something to hurt my feelings no I'm not, don't make me call I my never, don't make me call my, my uh, Houston squad and ask them live on air you think they, you think they would tell you that yeah they'll, they'll lie to you and for come you come on you talking to them all now <laughs> I'm, let's, let's act like these ain't here yo let's turn 2021 up yeah I'm so down for call the squad 
No, you're not. He's not if not. I'm by myself. He's not. He's not. If I'm by myself, you're a married man with a with a little t- with a little tool. Girl. <laughs> with a little <laughs> Yo, if we play and call the squad to turn it up, huh? Never. <laughs> to edit. <laughs> Niggas can't fuck with Come in Come in, <laughs> come in here <laughs> What's up What's up Parks was just saying Call, we call gonna, for call Hey Rim We were just gonna play A little game called Call the squad This is our version You're of right Oh look at him He's got a pee <laughs> <laughs> Nah not Parks got a pee Look at him Now he's cooking something right. Bitch <laughs> what's, what's, what's y'all predictions Call, hey, call hey, for call Maul versus Joe Hey wait All the studio equipment Is in here You should know Cause you bought it <laughs> <laughs> You're the engineer Why are you walking that way <laughs> Maul ain't gonna play Call the Squad with Joe. I don't have a squad. Me neither. Okay. That makes it even more fun. Call somebody that's not on the squad. Mm. And, and do what? Ask them if they uh if they know this gentleman? Or does he affect their life in any way? What you want me to ask? I'll ask anything you want me to ask. Look, look, look at the squad hit me now, man. See? See? Look. Like- <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's just let's just have a conversation. Don't you gotta go to juniors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I ain't even catch that. <laughs> yo, there's some place just opened up. Yo, you up gotta called... go to Junior. <laughs> yo, some spot just opened over there called Julia's. Uh, like, yo, nah. You, you gotta go to Junior. You cheesecake. a cheesecake, huh? Yeah, I know. Now bitches wanna be yeah, the band. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, Rory! Rory ain't calling Let's no go, one. Rory! Who you calling? You heard whatever whoever he calling. Whoever he calling. It's going to it's going up. It's up now. <laughs> it probably won't pick up. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, hey, it's up and it's staying there. Rory, it's stuck. Rory calling a fax machine, man. I know that trick. <laughs> that's a good trick. Yeah, that's a trick. We're gonna edit this because she will call back. Hmm? Cause she that's how much she on him. Your call has been <laughs> That's how much she on him. Okay, we're going to see. She will call back. Who I could call? Somebody in Houston. All right, man, Donald Trump. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Yo, bro, but why are you so... I want to call now, too, because you you test me. I'm not testing you. You did test I just me. Think it's, I, I just think there's a high probability... Stop blabbering my business. No, I'm not. You blabbered your business. You let us know where you was at. So I can you, blabber my business, yeah, though. Yeah, so I'm just going over where what you Where you be said. at, huh? Right here in New York. Mm. Right here. I don't I haven't gone anywhere. Fuck out of here. I'm just saying, I haven't gone anywhere, bro. Now, this is 50 minutes of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday pod. All Let's right, old days. James Harden. I'll tell you where we won't be, though. The Barclays. Yeah. Why not? You th- All right, let me ask you a question. You think they play, you think they play ball for 48 minutes? <laughs> what do you- I'm asking you. You think for 48 minutes straight they focused on the game? Oh, or you don't think you don't see the shit they be doing at the free throw line? <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch? You ever, they don't show the timeouts on TV, right? That's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we got uh, we got. I, action. I, I, hey, I went to that D. We got action. I went to that D Wade uh, resistant uh, last game. <laughs> <laughs> Sat right behind the bench. What a mistake! <laughs> Joe, right. Joe, we got action. We got action. <laughs> Hello, anonymous that- woman. This is Rory from the Joe Budden podcast. I have some okay. questions, resident of Houston, Texas. All right. I got will, answers. Will we see an influx of women flying from Houston to New York with the recent trade? I don't know. Possibly. As someone that is close associates with the person that was traded, have any plans been arranged yet? I don't know anything. I can't speak on that. <laughs> oh, Harden's good. good. <laughs> Got that NBA, fam. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that down. Do any down. of you have questions for a, a female resident of Houston, Texas, that may or may not know the person at hand? I nah, think she said enough. I got my own. You gas me up now. It's lit. Pass that toggle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, anonymous Pass that woman. Toggle for down your the line, huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. Bye, boys. Bye. Bye. Shit. Tweeters told me we was falling off. Ooh, I needed that. <laughs> the tweeters. <laughs> this nigga's so stupid. Man. This nigga's so stupid. Shut the fuck up. Man. Ooh, I needed that. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I spilled my drink. Uh, that's weird. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's <laughs> odd. <laughs>
<laughs> listen, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast, even though you called me. Hello? Mm-hmm. Be clear. Listen, we're in front of company. Act right. Hello? Oh, my God. Now, <laughs> real nigga time. I got niggas in my circle saying the James Harden trade is affecting my life in personal levels. I'm here, but I can't see you. What the hell do y'all want? What do y'all want? <laughs> Why is, are all the women from Houston why so they so mean conf- to us? And why they confused? <laughs> you know why they mad? They so confused yeah. now, right? You know why they mad? Yeah, come <laughs> this cold ass weather. I I'm a big baby. Cold I, ass I, I New York. We gotta come to cold time. New York. <laughs> Hold up. All right, now we gonna get this right. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come to cold New York. Now. Why you know sound, why it mad. sound like it's a storm <laughs> in Houston? <laughs> <laughs> it's a storm. It's a storm. I right? do that. <laughs> Hello, this is Joe Button from the Joe Button Podcast. Can you hear me clearly? I can hear you clearly. Sound happy, though. (laughs) Y'all be on some bullshit. So, I've been there for these calls. I know. Sound I'm happy old. when I call when yeah. it's company around. Yeah. All right. Hey, that morning fight. Leave it in the morning. <laughs> Pass that is noon. Hey, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Maul is telling me that the James Harden trade will affect my life in personal ways. I said that's not true. What do you think? I definitely think that as a person who you know, is in love with the whole culture, you're going to be in the club spending money because that's what them bitches do. Oh, no, she missed that's it. That's what he does. No, 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 it's not. Over so she agreed with me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm it sound like. I don't, my thing is this. The I don't phone think is that, fuzzy. I mean, if I had to say so, that I'm going to allow you to just be out there blowing money, but, um, yeah, James Harden leaving already got the strip of hair stressed out. Mm, but so niggas still relieved. So what you so saying? He's gonna come there and be blowing all kinds of crazy money, and they're gonna be looking at y'all like, "Oh, so y'all are broke?" Big facts. Affects your y'all, lifestyle, you y'all. Too. You. But Maul is saying that. Let me leave it. You don't have James. You don't, you don't have James Hard <laughs> money. I'm sorry, bro. Hmm? You don't have James Hard money. I'm sorry. I'm not into girls. Listen to him. <laughs> You're not rough. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you think I'm yeah, I don't play on that street. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, so no listen. lies that have been told. Mm-hmm. All right, I feel like I gotta get you off the ball. <laughs> listen, I'll call you later. So wait, wait, wait. So yo, so no is the answer, right? She laughed. I'm here. Think- she, you know, so <laughs> hey, hey, don't worry. We got enough of what you think. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, I'll, no, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you later. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, she laughed. Yeah, back in action. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Back, back. yeah, you know how that goes. Yeah, you know Houston know. and their storms. Who's yeah. next on past the toggle? <laughs> Dude, today I can't reach. Come on, call James Is that Harden. by design? <laughs> I don't, I don't have I don't have nobody that uh, call Dur- call Durant and see if this changes his lifestyle. Let me get your phone and just pick a <laughs> random number to call for what? Talk to. Why do you call people? No. All right, forget it. Uh is Kyrie ever coming play, coming back to play? Yes, yes, he's coming back. People were saying that Kyrie did this so he wouldn't be involved in that trade. <laughs> that's what they trying mm. to say. He kind of turned Houston off. Like we don't know what he wanted, but I don't think that's true. But that's just a rumor. They don't take COVID seriously in Houston. <laughs> no, they don't <laughs> at all. I would never make, do, trade all those people. Uh, no, that's just me. That's, that's for James. Yeah, you would. If I have Kyrie Irving, but you, but no, I would the, not. But the, you would because it almost it almost puts you in the finals immediately. I disagree with that, but we'll see. I'm we'll just see. saying it. Oh, but it, don't it, you have to win? The goal is not to get there. Yeah. No, the goal is. You think no, this Brooklyn team is, is in to win now? You, you, this is man, to win. Shut up. Do you think they can beat the Lakers right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I'm asking they, you I'm not Just right now That I'm could not, change later But right today He just got there So we don't know And I think they're gonna Make more moves But just looking at the team Right now They're yes, gonna get their yes, veteran yes, mem yes, What's I it do. called Veteran yes, mem right They're yes. gonna Exception yes, The, the mid level They got the mid level Niggas to death Yes I do Okay I do Okay all right, I, let's I leave, seen let's I seen, I seen KD versus Braun in the finals enough years. No, you didn't. You saw KD and Steph and Clay and them in the finals. And now versus. I get to see KD, James, and Kyrie. Who gonna smack who first? As far as what mm-hmm. beef? Yeah. Nah, these, these 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 three get along. They fuck with each other. And we all get along too. It's two minutes left in Game Seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, know, well, we we seen it. We seen they work though. We seen Kevin's work in the finals. We seen Kyrie's work in the I finals. know. We also seen a we dude. Seen Kevin we all, and Durant <laughs> or Kevin and uh, Harden in the finals. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've also seen people look Durant off in clutch time. Probably the wrong person to do that to. Who looked I've, him off? Westbrook. 
In the finals? No, I remember that. That uh, it was the playoffs. No, it was a semi uh, conference final. Listen, yeah. James conference is the one you need to worry about. I've seen James look people off. No, we've seen James hey, not show up in the season games. <laughs> we've seen him not show up in the playoffs. That's like on record. He has like one of the worst playoff percentages in like history. I like this topic because <laughs> as men, a lot we talk about when, for lack of a better term, when uh, when uh, when two bad bitches in the room, mm-hmm. right? And just how that can get tough. But now we're seeing what you do when there's two alpha niggas. I'm not talking about Durant because he's a unicorn. He's from a different planet. If you James Harden, you come in and you feel like I'm the nicest dude in the world. Kyrie has felt like that forever as well. Uh-huh. They both kind of do the, th- the, the same thing. They're ball-dominant guards. Mm-hmm. With handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm rolling with Kyrie, though. Well, me too because Kyrie has won it. Right. Like, he, I, I saw that shot he took right. with... Steph twice almost. I yeah, saw him two aver- shots. and I saw him average twenty seven in the finals. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not rolling with it. I don't think this is good, Mo. I don't. You don't think it's a good fit? I don't think anything about Here's it. Here's what is I good. think. I, I will watch it because it will be super entertaining. I don't even rank this that high in the in the big threes. Like I just don't think this is a th- Nah, it's a pretty big big three. I know this won't happen. Crazy big three. I know this won't happen. Let's play the big three. Let's play the big three game then. Let's start mean? start with the original. Okay. Celtics. Magic, Kareem. Uh, I'm saying that where the, that where the a, word big three came from. That, and, and James Worthy. <laughs> now we're talking about modern big three, I think. After, yeah, after yeah, KG, but that, yeah, but that KG, was a myth. And this Ray is not Allen. a sports podcast, so let's get through this quick. <clears throat> big threes, super teams, they've been around. Philly had sure. one. The Celtics had one. The Lakers had one. The Celtics had another one. The <laughs> Miami had one. Like, <laughs> niggas had one. Yeah. I don't rank th- this big three in the top three of big threes. That's Joe. Now, Why? if they prove me wrong, huh? Why? Um, because I just think they're three individual. Well, Kevin Durant is different. Mm-hmm. You could put him anywhere; it's gonna work. Mm-hmm. But uh, in totality, they're three individually great men. I have. So to, was the Heat team? No. Yeah, they were. What? Chris Bosh was, was a franchise crazy. player before he yeah. went to Miami. Uh, Dwayne Wade, Wade was. Wade, Wade proved was, that he was. Wade was the <laughs> franchise player in Miami. And LeBron was a they franchise player. They sat Chris Bosh down in Applebee's and said, <laughs> "Before you get here, this is what it is." No, 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 Wait, no. Wait, let, no, no. let me finish my point. What I'm but let me finish my he point. He was a franchise player before when they got him. But my point was, they're not three solely individual players that were great. Chris Bosh, before he signed on the dotted line, was down to share. D- Dwayne Wade in month three said, "Yo, you have to be the best. I can't do it." That's what I meant. They were willing to give it. Well, that's to part get of it. when it actually uh, comes together. I have to see that happen with oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, particular yeah, group yeah, yeah. is all I'm saying. I, me I personally, I think, and I know it won't happen. If James ain't on the ball, what's he doing? Hopefully, Is he setting a screen? Is he running the back, the back pick? Is he spotting up in the corner? Is he grabbing a board? Is he boxing out? What is he doing? Same with Kyrie. Before, if Kyrie though. don't have the ball, I ain't, I ain't seen him do shit without the ball. Oklahoma City, he was moving without the ball and getting They, open they were all different players at that time. That's yeah, true. I, yeah, I'm not 100% counting that. true. He should go back to that role. I was going to say that with yeah. the Nets. He should be the six-man. If I'm James, right. I'm the six-man. And, and you they have, have no, no scoring off the bench. Y'all have, have no idea the if, uh, if they didn't no take bench. him to the Applebee's James on Atlanta. Yo, let's move on. Let's get to <laughs> music, no y'all. Bench. Yo, let's get to music. Look at the bench. <laughs> let's just get to music. Look at who they have. Let's get to music, please. I'm just saying, if I'm James, I'd be like, yo, listen, you know what? Because everybody already thinks he's going to come in and try to be ball dominant. They already think that off top. He go in and be like, yo, bring me off the bench. Let me be the sixth man. Let me just come in and score and run offense. Yo, for 2021. Why not? Can we give Maul, you know how we do the thing with the text and it's a clip? <laughs> <laughs> Can Maul have his own every week? Because I, I think that should be highlighted. But, but you think that's a bad idea? <laughs> I think that that I just don't think it'll happen. I don't think there's any Look way. At that I think it's a good God. idea. There's it's nobody happen. there. There's nobody coming off the bench. For now. They want to win right now. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So you right, need to do this, what's best for the team right now. Well, now that you have your team hat on, I have my James hat on. And if I won however many multiple scoring titles. You haven't won. If though. I had you haven't won. 150. Fam. The last man, time you had to talk. Time, wait, wait, hold on. The last time he got to the finals, you know what position he played? He was a six man. The last time he went to the finals with OKC. He was a six man. Who did that? What coach did that? What you mean? It worked. I'm just asking. I'm not young. I'm just it asking. worked. Was I'm Scott just, Brooks? I don't. It worked. Yeah, I think it was Scott. Brooks. I just wanted to laugh at Billy Donovan for a little bit. You no, it, me. but I'm saying it worked. <laughs> I know that wasn't Billy Donovan. I'm it worked. I'm just saying, do what works. You don't have no bench. Okay. Spencer Dinwiddie is out for the year. You have Karis Levert. You traded. You have no scoring coming off the bench. Okay. I'm just All saying, right. be smart. Just be smart. 
Can I use that as a promo clip? Can I put more things James Harden should come off, <laughs> off, off the bench in his new role with the Nets? <laughs> Why not? You think that's, I'm scared to that highlight That sounds insane. Have a clip does he have a mall camera? Why does that just sound insane? <laughs> a mall camera. <laughs> Why does that sound insane? You want to get, get a clean shot? Like you act like he wasn't a six man. I got it, Maul. Come on, yeah, let's move like, on. Why not? You for, for this roster, look at, look at, I don't even I, know I'm, these dudes. I don't know any of those, the oh, first no. three dudes. No, he's an Antifa. <laughs> I don't. I don't know no, these dudes. None of the other rhetoric. I thought, I thought Nicholas Claxton but, was little dirt. When it's basketball, he's clear as can be. I That's what I'm saying. I don't know these dudes. You gonna bring one of them off the bench and say score? <laughs> can we talk about music? I'm just. I'm just saying, bro. So, so you think smart. Joe Harris should I start? Just and <laughs> yeah, why not? A lot of new music. Didn't well, drop. Was, didn't not, drop. was not released. <laughs> uh, we, we got a division. Uh, Deluxe. Don't just say it like that. Four, four new records. Don't just say it like that. Those so, are my guys. I know. I love, I love both of them. I know. So let's say it like that. Because this is great. No, them four records is fire. Well, we got blessings before. They solved it for me. Division solved how I cannot be angry at this new growing trend. The, the deluxe trend. Yes. Okay. I went, first of all, sly little devils. Huh? Amusing. Her feelings. Am- hey, amuse- hey, listeners, the first one was amuse. Two words. <laughs> <laughs> so, so come on. So when you do a pun, I, y'all, it works. y'all are laughing at Joe. Joe is telling the creator sometimes it's the small subtle changes. Mm. <laughs> come on, man. Pick that up. Now leave that right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a floor gem. Amusing her feelings. Which New is mad name. Fun, by the way. New name. Great. Hey, and this time when I went to find it, the four the, the four new songs wasn't at the bottom yeah. of your new album. Hey, arrogant entitled artist. Let me be the person to tell you. We don't have your fucking track list memorized. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was on your album. And now I'm mad I got to go back and check. Boy, oh, okay, once again was the last joint. All right, after, yeah, yeah, after yeah. once again, they gave us heat. Uh-huh. Who the fuck are y'all? <laughs> so you mad at the... Uh... I'm not mad. It's just bad business. Everything is about saving time today. If you haven't checked at your local supermarket and noticed all the people you grew up with don't work there no more. <laughs> it's all about been sa- replaced by self-checkout. Yeah, yeah. It's all about saving time. I don't have time to go and check what's going on. Convenience. I go, Convenience. I go to Division shit. First four songs, they right there. I press play. Them shits was so beautiful sounding. I went to sleep with it. Yeah. Mm. I cut the TV off, let the music play, and I went to sleep. You slept alone? Yeah. Oh, you said you hate sleeping alone. That's what I'm just asking. But I slept alone. Okay. <laughs> Did you hold, hold your pillow? You ask questions that bring the heat right to where you're located, right? <laughs> no. It's like heat seeking. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. <laughs> Fall asleep to R&B alone? Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's what you said. You've never done that? What yeah. is wrong with Maul? Okay. I just, I Who just are you? You just said you hate sleeping alone last week. So you think it's But like, I do it. Sometimes I do things okay, like that. I'm just asking a question based off of so what you So now you're trying said. to paint the picture. I sleep alone no. listening to Divisions the Deluxe by no, myself I'm just crying. Asking, I'm just asking, <laughs> I'm just asking, I'm just asking <laughs> a question, Nothing wrong with that. Bro. I was just asking no, that's a vibe. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's Daniel. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Friend of the show. Want to give him a little something? Might need a new Miguel album. Might. Yeah. Definitely. It's <laughs> time for that. <laughs> Definitely need one. Yeah, I would definitely fall asleep crying by myself to this. <laughs> what you crying for, man? That'd be a vibe. YouTube, this is Division featuring Miguel, he said. Turn it down. Yeah, I just really appreciate when artists are able to get in their, uh, get in their bag. Like, Division seems to have found a comfortable pocket in the 80s sounding, uh, what shorty that we love? Was that Shake? That yeah. wasn't that was Shake. Yeah, Shake has an '80s feel for sure. Yeah, yeah. Synth, synth, it seemed division yeah. electronic drums, but '85 does it in a way more traditional R&B 
way sure. with the 80s, yeah. which I love because I miss traditional R&B. <laughs> yeah. When I pressed, uh, I'm going to tell myself, when I pressed uh, the sample to hear a little snippet on the uh, deluxe division shit, I know division. You're, I'm done. I'm just going to buy it now. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. them when you admit to your man. Y'all hit the sample thing now. Yeah. <laughs> just to double check. Just to get a little. I just make sure. I wasn't sure what you had going on. But when I hit that on whatever the last track track was, uh, what the, whatever the fourth one was. Mm. Uh, blessings, which they put out before. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Blessings? Wait, 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 wait. Let me pull up my music. Div- well, on SoundCloud, Div- Blessings is last. Oh, yeah. I like this, too, that there are no names here. <laughs> mm. It all just says amusing her feelings, so I don't know the name. Let me see. That was on the pre-order? No, I, I didn't that's pre-order. Not the, that's I bought the, these. That's not the aux. That's the charger. I need to charge my phone. (laughs) (laughs) If I'm not mistaken, I think this is called Hold On. This is that big classic 80s record. This was the big one. Like, I was shocked. Now, now I got to find the original for y'all. Find a sample. Find what it is. That's Kings of Leon. It's you somebody, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You somebody. Oh, be, be somebody. You somebody. You somebody. Whatever the fuck it is. Well, yeah, that sounds like an 80s record, too. But I can't believe he that successfully did that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? That was t- 2000s. Yeah. That was 2000s, yeah. even. Four or five, maybe? Yeah. Three, Whatever the record four. was. Great record. Leon. I can't believe Let, he successfully classic. flipped this record. That's. Well, the lyrics are R&B. I've always yeah. felt that. I've, I've always felt like that about that um, Kings of Leon record. The lyrics are R and B. Can somebody tell me what's up? What's up with Kings of Leon? I don't know. It's been some time. They just left. They just came and left. Yeah. I mean, they're probably still. We. I don't know. We just probably not checking for shit. shit. Yeah. But that's a classic song. That's a classic. Division. I really liked how you did that, man. I love Party too much to ask my Coles who's better now between you and Party. Uh, So I won't. Two thousand eight. They make completely different music to me. Oh god. Came out two thousand eight. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna compare them just because they're on the same label. They make totally different type of music. Oh, I would never compare those two. Oh, we've never compared anything that's different. <laughs> I don't think it's a fair comparison. It's probably not, but so. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a King, minute, King, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, David, wait a minute. Kings of Leon has an album coming up. They and got wait two singles out right now. Yeah. Oh, where? Yeah. When you see yourself is the name of the album. Love Kings of Leon. Yeah, me too. Yeah, dope. Got to check that out. Does it have a date when that's coming out? They got two, you know, when they put the album up and it's incomplete. I yeah. don't know if there's a date. So oh, I go. That's, that's dope. I'm so excited. I so I go to uh, so I go to iTunes because I even forgot that it was Thursday in time to buy music. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the, you still busy. But Division sent me there mad busy, bro. I told you I'm not playing with 2020, uh, 2021. Um, so I go to iTunes. Division sends me there. And I know that the industry is still quote unquote closed, but still I looked at the new singles, right? Mm. Did y'all do that? No. Look at the new singles? I looked at the new albums. I, I look at both. Singles. Yeah. I, I Today went I'm through the albums. Not and right on the last pillar, that's when you swipe like five times, four times. Mm-hmm. So I, saw, I saw Scissor's name. I thought it was a mistake. Did y'all see Scissor's name? No, no. again, I that looked was at albums. Last don't week? even Don't or touch your phone. Ago? Don't touch your phone. I want to look at the pillars, but don't want. I don't want you to yet. I don't want you to yet. You can do it in two seconds. She put but out it was, the second it was quiet. single from. Uh, no, it wasn't really quiet. That song's like number one. Fam, good days. What's number one? Killing good me. Days. Good days. Yeah. I came on this podcast when I was sick when? with Corona and say, it "Hey, came this, out like that two, came out right before two or three Christmas. weeks ago." Yeah, it's been a while. It came out like right before. It was Christmas. the song See, that was at the end. That's even a shame that three weeks is a while. Joe, Joe, it was the song that was at the end of the last the Ty Dolla Sign video. Mm-hmm. And do uh, oh the one that we heard the Nathan snippet of did the, uh, yeah. that did, we that we said sounds amazing and when yeah, is that yeah, coming out the yeah. producer that did some on MM4 he did I forgot what the record was called Nason yeah well no hit different no we're not talking about hit different we're, uh, we're not talking, talking about, we're talking about good discography oh yeah, well yeah I, I tried to bring up when it came but I was via Zoom Good Days has been on repeat in my house every single day then why haven't I, we I, talked about it in this podcast I did I, is, I, from Zoom I said hey is anyone paying attention that SZA is two for two like. That Good Days record is I fucking insane. I think you might have said that before you got sick. I think you was here when you brought that up. Oh well, either way, this is my favorite record right now, fam, by far. <laughs> Mine too. Ah, this record is nuts. Nah, that 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 uh, Jasmine and her record is nah. Right Fair, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But this this record and that her record, 
It's still Yo, Sad Scissor is my shit. Say that again, Rory, because it's important. Sad Scissor is my shit. Oh, I thought yeah. you said That's... Sad Season, but same thing. Same. <laughs> Fam, what is this beautifulness? That's Scissor. He did uh, If All Else Fails off MM4. The producer did that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Mm-hmm. Somehow, all the people that gave me the bad beats... No, that was a great. Beat, I'm just talking no, about by the fans. I'm talking about by the fans' accounts, no, oh. <laughs> not me. Um, this this record reminds me of my favorite Scissor record, Sobriety. When she gets in this bag, I'm so I'm gonna cry by myself asleep to this record for sure. When you do this, you could you can just let the music. <laughs> Don't ever look at me like that. <laughs> so much y'all niggas crying ourselves to sleep, hey, man. Yeah, yo, right. live, live a little more. <laughs> I don't want to cry myself to sleep. That's not a good way to go to sleep. <laughs> it, it is when scissors blank. Oh my god, y'all are crazy. How you Great sleep? record though. How you Love sleep with your arms folded? I just pass out. <laughs> like a vampire? I pass out. I don't know how I sleep. I pass out. <laughs> the V-boy stand? I'd rather fall asleep like that than be crying. <laughs> crying yourself to sleep. <laughs> like, this is fucking... Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, boy. I don't be crying. I don't know how, how you sleep? Asleep. Like, you're just lamping for a little bit? I just pass out. I ain't crying, though. Crying yourself to sleep is fucking crazy. That's nuts. Some people that have been listening to this pod for a while, like... Y'all never understand when I call certain music low quality music. Y'all think I'm being a dickhead. This and sometimes you are, to be clear. What song have I ever said was low quality that wasn't low quality? No, no. You're, are, well, you're, you're right saying just insane you. that. That sounds like a yeah. Savon job. Savon, pull it up. It's just insane <laughs> that you're being a dick. I understand yeah. what you're saying. This is the exact opposite of that. This is like I don't even know how to describe this. I thought this Beautiful. was I thought this was new last night when I heard. No, no, it's man. been a couple this, weeks. This is been well, my, because been that's my the, favorite record. Well, because that's the problem when you drop when the industry is shut down and there's no promoting, the labels is closed or whatever. Like, Caesar can't retire after this. She's in every time. She's she has a couple times, yeah. She will always find a way to make you call the girl that you deaded, or call the girl that you was all right with dead, and now you miss her again, like. And the girl will call you even though you did her dirty. That's what music does. That's what good music does. Yeah. A girl left a card under my door the other day. Like a, a, a business card or a Hallmark card? It was a Hallmark card. Oh, okay. That's nice. No, the girl stopped talking to Oh. Uh, well, she, if you block her she, and everything. She just pulled up and slid a card under your door and left? I don't do that, Rory. You do that? No, I don't even know how to block people. I'm, I'm dead ass. I have zero clue how to block people. I don't do that. And when I go to your page years later and I'm still blocked, I'm like, look at you, still tight. <laughs> why, are you, why are you tight all these years later? No, I thought it was pretty smooth, actually. I meant uh, numbers. I know how to block people on Twitter and IG for sure. But okay. I, I don't know how you block a number on your phone. Yeah. It was a card inviting me to a date. Oh, I like, kinda, that's I, that's kind of swaggy. I'm yeah. not mad at her. It's, it's real swaggy. We didn't have the biggest fight ever last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the swaggiest thing ever if I didn't call the police. <laughs> Damn, when you have to call, when the man has to call the police. <laughs> and that's a fucked up boat to be in because that's is. when you're standing by your door saying, you know I ain't supposed to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> like, this fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked like, up. Yeah. This is my house. Right. <laughs> when you're Yo, home, leaving your when you're home house? telling her <laughs> that this is your house, you by your door. Yeah. Uh, good days. That's a dark place. <laughs> good days. <laughs> and then sometimes you want to call the girl that you had the most toxic fun with. What? That's the best girl. <laughs> <laughs> then she wanna... On the low, that's kind of the one. <laughs> yeah. It's the one. You know what's funny? Because that's when I try to. It's, it's Saturday, fucking. <laughs> I agree with Rory. I think that girl's the one. Yeah, she's but the one. She, but she can't. She can't know that you think she's the one. Oh God, no! Because she's a toxic little hussy. Yeah. <laughs> little hussy. <laughs> yeah, she can't know that you think she's the one, right? And if you separate. Normally, she tries to go and prove her life without you, like sure. do better. Sure. But that takes time. 
Yeah. So that's when you call and y'all have that talk where she says to you, yo, I'm I want better for me. Like I know what I deserve. Mm. I want more. And that's when you say, Yeah, but that's gonna take a little while. To, like you can fuck with me until you and, go and how and you get and how you know what you deserve. Listen. <laughs> Y'all are sick. Well, I just think there's some arrogance in that. Yeah, you actually yeah. don't deserve that. Like, <laughs> y'all are like, sick. I think there's mad arrogance in all these people saying they know what they deserve. I don't know if you deserve that. Y'all are crazy. Yeah, You're you, not giving this energy back to anybody you else. Why you, why you deserve this? Y'all are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look what this is doing to us. <laughs> like, you got some fucking nerve thinking you deserve this type of happiness. You've been bringing misery to everyone in your life. Why you think you deserve happiness? Come sit with us. <laughs> Look what you fucking done to the rest of us. <clears throat> I'm going to choose me this year. Bitch, you've been choosing yourself your whole life. <laughs> and my thing is just, you choosing you, it's going to take about a year to get you off the, off the ground. <laughs> you put yourself crazy. in a bit of a jam. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> See, what y'all are doing is fucked up. That's fucked up. Y'all shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> y'all shouldn't be doing You're that. You're upside down on you. <laughs> Self awareness is really important. Hey. <laughs> You're in debt to yourself. There's a negative balance on you. It's going to take a little while to get what you, you deserve. You have some fees to pay. Yeah, yeah. You're bankrupt. <laughs> I love you, SZA. Best song out right now. <laughs> really the best taste. song out. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. SZA, come on our podcast, please. It's the only time I've ever asked a guest. Hold up, man. It's my phone at She don't want to talk to people. It's my phone. Parks, you're, you're a co-host and an engineer. No, I'm here now. <laughs> you have two jobs. <laughs> here now, man. See what's going on. Hello. What's going on? It's Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. Uh-uh. I'm not doing this, Joe. Good on. I hate this podcast so much. I'm not doing this. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, woman on you the phone. Here. But you ain't hear how Joe turned it down. It was like, yo, this is Joe. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm trying to set the mood, nigga. Get off my phone, nigga. <laughs> She's still on the phone? Hell no. No, she that was the problem. See, that, that's, where I went, but that's where I went wrong. I should have played it during this little beautiful music part. <laughs> Wait, let's try to let's loop this part up and try it. Hold up. <laughs> man, that is the funny shit, man. This is Joe. Nah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> well, you didn't want to play our past the toggle game. <laughs> Word. <laughs> See, but that's to Rory's point. I'm calling you about my kid, maybe. maybe. <laughs> no, wait, nah. hold on. She Don't put my points that. into y'all. Now nah, she uh, know you ain't doing. Once you say this is Joe, she's like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We have a kid. <laughs> 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 we're not, we're fucking, not doing what? Hey, she no, 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 it ain't, it ain't Lex time yeah. right now. <laughs> she hung that shit up quick. Like, what? No, Sin, I'm not doing this. Sin, we love you and respect you on this podcast. That is hilarious. And love you. That was funny. Joe thought he had a moment shout with SZA. SZA always, singing always beautifully. You, you thought you set the tone? SZA singing beautifully. Well, that was the bag. Yeah. That was the bag at one point. I see where he took it. Sin was on her lock shit. Now nah, we're not doing this, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know the problem with men, and this is why men are just idiots. Because why, when you know that a woman like don't want you, why is it like fun to play with them? Because we, we love, we love what we can't have. <laughs> no, I ain't nah, that's trying, just, that's just I ain't trying to have you. Just I'm not talking a, about your situation. Just being now. a dick now. <laughs> nah, that's just men way of trying to test the waters. That's all we do. We're just trying to test yeah. see. I'm That's calling mad people. Oh, Valentine's Day coming. <laughs> oh, what you want? What little, you got planned? Little trippy trip. <laughs> <laughs> she banged that shit so fast. I respect it. Hell yeah. I like that too, though. Shout out to Sim, man. Yeah. Smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> Joe thought he had the vibe set. Hey, no. No, it's not just her. It's both my kids' moms. Trey called me over the weekend. <laughs> he was home, though. We talking, it's been like, yeah, man, it's still the music's cool. It's cool. 
<laughs> his mom in the back. I hear evil voice on the phone. I'm like, yo, <laughs> <I'm> evil voice. <laughs> I hear the voice of evil man on the phone. <laughs> I respect that too. I'm like, yeah, yeah I ain't spoke to you in 25. I tried all of you. Oh we we been ain't spoke. That's crazy. I can't wait till y'all have some kids, man. I can't wait. That's I can. That's when the fun. That's when the fun. That's when. That's when we're gonna have some fun. What do you think, Basley is? What are you coming in now? <laughs> hey, this is probably sock. not a good. <laughs> this is an engaged man. <laughs> a sock. <laughs> do you send for your laundry it. out too? Huh? Like do you no, send... I do have laundry. Right, I'm about to say you a nasty yeah. fuck. <laughs> if you asking someone else Ew, to do you that, you coming in your socks and washing <laughs> yeah, your own you shit? Look at Rory. Yeah. <laughs> Rory washes his cum sock. <laughs> yeah, I'm respectable. <laughs> Throw that shit in the garbage. Yo, me, you wash the cum out of my socks, Rory. Yo, coming coming in a sock and cleaning it and wearing it is fucking That's insane. Great. You're a fucking serial killer. Yo, if you do some shit this, like that. This is the year I thought we were giving NPR a real run. <laughs> I thought, That's some this is the year. Shit. I thought NPR Yo, had to look know, out this year. You know that last pair of drawers when it's laundry day? Oh, that you're like, oh, I hate wearing yeah, these. Yeah, Maybe Imagine not. the cummy sock. Be like, damn. Nah, I really got to do some laundry. I'm wearing the cum way, socks no, today. <laughs> Take that variety. <laughs> Top that content. What Rory does with the cummy sock. <laughs> hey, Spotify down right now. <laughs> hey, Spotify is down right now, but I wasn't done talking about music. And I'm putting the album out, Spotify. Oh, if you want to playlist me. <laughs> It's called cum socks. <laughs> I would kill the cum sock fuck. playlist. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make that tonight. <laughs> Holy shit. Another real classy way to repurpose some music. Shout out to nobody. N N B D Y. N is in Nancy. B D Y. That's how you say things, I, I know, but oh. it's just funny. <laughs> and shout out to nobody. And Nancy. Really dope way to repurpose your shit, doing a, a, a good au- acoustic version of your shit. Sure. And this is years old. I want to say this came out in 2016. Uh, yeah. Yep. So to do that five years later, I fuck with this. And coming off that Scissor song, listening to the acoustic version of Used To, <clears throat> a lot of phone calls that shouldn't be had. I'm going to play the hook and we're going to get back to it, y'all. 2017. Hey, put a hand in the air for cup and season. Come on, ride with me out there. Oh. That's your call and respond? Hmm? That's your call and respond? There's some people out there listening to this podcast feeling lonely, huh? Some of your partners just left you yesterday. Thank God for us. <laughs> it should be sad. Congratulations to nobody, man. Really, 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 really great project. It was great the first time. It's great the second time. Classic record, in my opinion. Yeah, Love that record. I agree. Thank you for uh, you introduced me to that song. So thank you for that. Um, I said thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. I didn't hear you, bro. I mean, thank nobody. Don't thank more. Um, more's nobody. Who else is here? More's is somebody. Don't do that. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, we said no new music came out, but three people I was excited about came out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put the people on. R&B man is back. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Friend of the show. AZ on. Cardiac. Wait a minute. Vibey. I don't like that Cardiac's not brought up in the producer you don't like of what? the year categories. He this is be beautiful. There. Just a few uh, few new deluxe projects and EPs out for y'all, man. Go pick it up. Vibe out this weekend for Martin Luther King weekend. Uh, uh. And you could change your song and you can make it a girl song. Uh, more on could say the girl. She used to wear plaid. Like, you shit on my ideas. He, he, sh- he shit on my <laughs> ideas, but won't never say what the song would have been about. Like, put some thought into your song. Um, <laughs> to my song. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't have any more new music that came out 
No, I do not. I don't. Um. Oh, shout out to Love the Genius. She put her. Uh, she put her record out. Yeah, for single. Yeah. yeah. Downloaded. I ain't listening yet. Super hard. Super super hard. Twenty twenty one. Oh my bad. No, it's called Break Soul. Love the Genius. A Rab also record. put out an EP. I don't know if it's instrumental or not. I didn't get to listen to it. Shout out to A Rab. Oh, I gotta listen to it. <clears throat> uh, what did that say about Daylight and Loaded Lux? Breaking news: Daylight versus Loaded Lux is now four rounds. The fourth round will be a freestyle musical performance round on a beat of the artist's uh, choice. No, 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 no. See, all right, I'll be checking out after see, round three. This is. The, I'm really excited for the three rounds. Yeah, I'm not. See, this is when it just they just trying to do too much. Stop. But I'm not mad at I'm not mad at them fiddling around with things. Yeah, but not that. Not don't fiddle around with the battle. My only thing is, how would that performance over the beat? Uh, affect affect the, battle. the battle exactly. See? Like, what happens if you kill over the beat that I chose for you, but you didn't really rock? You didn't really win the battle. Like, what does it matter? Yeah, no. Nah. It's a good I'm, question. I'm, I have no idea. I'm, I'm just cool on that idea. <laughs> These are two, I understand these, it. This is a I'm battle cool. that we've won it for years. Let it just be like a real authentic mm -hmm. battle. And, and I've heard both of them on beats destroy shit, but yeah. I still, I'm still cool. No, I just want to see y'all battle. I just want to, I just, just, just. Battle. And give me the date of the battle. What is the date? <laughs> That I don't know. Call Lux at daylight. I'm not calling Lux. He better be writing. <laughs> you call that nigga and interrupt him. Oh, he definitely writing. Hope so. He, oh, he hope, he, hope he been writing. Oh, he he in Washington Square playing chess I'm, I'm and so, writing. I am so phony. <laughs> Listen how phony I am. He writing. New York's finest. One of our greatest, the great, greatest that we've ever had over here. Right. True. And just and that you fast. Think he's not prepared. Going to be prepared. No, he's going to be prepared. He's Absolutely. just going to lose. I'm gonna have to I'm watch that battle that. seven times to decide. I love, yeah. I love, I love Daylight. I think he. I've said it years ago. He was. He's one of the greatest battle rappers that we've ever Bye seen. Far. But we. So is Lux. Daylight ran from this battle when he was supposed to run from it. Yeah. When Daylight was was gimmicky man. When he was the nice dude but still on the gimmicks. Yeah. Maybe without some of the TDE support before he was uh, uh as polished as he is today. Mm -hmm. He ran from it as he should have. Today. This new evolved version of daylight. I got daylight in this. Day, one too. Daylight is in a different type Sorry. of shape right now. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and I'm only I'm only comfortable saying that here because I told Lux that to his face. Number one, number two, they both will wipe the floor with me face to face. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, think they, just... I think they would get me too. Yeah, yeah, and more. Come on, say yeah, that. Yeah, do so. that plaid, have, plaid have, shit have, to them. I'd run. Say plaid to them. Uh, no, yeah. Have, have some, some fucking self respect for yourself. I'll, I'll clean up Lux nah. and daylight. But, but sing plaid in front of them. See what happens. No, 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 we're not going to sing plaid. No, we're not doing that. Not Yo, even rap. You know, you know who to battle and who not to battle. You know. <laughs> See, that's I'm, why I'm I wish y'all daylight too in this. Damn, I wish y'all rapped or something, man. Why? So we I could just share some of this. Kids. So I could share some of like the the, the funny stuff. All like of the, us have rapped at one point. Though. But the funny stuff is like I'm playing with them all right now. Like when your first verse as a rapper, if one of the first verses is a girly record or a club record or just something like in that vein, and then you go outside and the hitters got verses, but you ain't got nothing for the cipher. You don't have none oh, for you that. Got a soul you, ain't, shit. you ain't got none for that cipher. You yeah. just you just did not. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you just did tap it. Hey, yeah. You oh, go home oh, so what? fast and put pen to pad. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, but that's what it's supposed to I step in with my baby I don't know if that still happens. I'm I'm, well, no, I'm, I'm outdated. Don't, ciphers don't just happen on the blocks no more. That no. doesn't happen. God no. Niggas ain't just rapping in the parks no more. They're not rapping on the block. That that doesn't happen. Niggas is putting up putting up their raps on their Instagram and putting it out. Yeah. See, so in that case, I maybe wouldn't waste my time with, with having a street verse on deck, like just a cypher verse to have in all cyphers. Because if that mm -hmm. ain't what we're doing, then who cares? I'll take it to another In that day, we, everybody at lunchtime, was, it's, rap, it's rap time. Oh, yeah, so you needed a verse. Absolutely. But if you don't need that today, like, I don't know if my son is walking around with that in the tuck. Yeah, but you got, I think artists should do that. I've, I've run into a lot of very talented artists just searching online and shit. It's like, oh, your shit is dope, but fam... I don't need eleven songs about girls. Okay, I just I just don't. Yeah, yeah. To Maul's point, man, I, I had I had to go to Times Square for an editing session, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and I had to park in one of the things and walk mad far. You didn't get no and, mixtapes. And I was I was a little upset that not one person me said, "Yo, yo, you like hip hop? Right. You like hip hop?" Damn. No one offered me sour. <laughs> they probably thought you was a cop. Like I was, I fam. I've been offered every drug on earth. You look in coppish Square. in the face. You look coppish you in the you face. What you got on your good? Uh, you had your good coat on. Was it blue? I might have a good coat. I'm, oh, oh yeah, when, thought, when when do I not have a good? They coat They thought on. you was a DT. Yeah. They looked. They was like, nah, fam. That's him. But DT's that's like hip hop. Like 
Come on, try to sell me your disc. <laughs> yeah, but not no sour. Can't sell you no sour. <laughs> try to tell me a, a CD. I could find a way. Or like they let you hold it first and say, oh, that'd be five dollars. Yeah, that was the oldest was the game. Remember that? Yeah. That was old. Yo, it. check me out. He'd be like, all right, call me check. You start walking, but yo, that's yo, five dollars. Yo, like, yo yeah. you know who does that now? The monks. The monks <laughs> be trying to pass you these little gold things. Is in that safe city. to say? Yes. You can say monk? Yeah. Like religion? That's, that's their name. That's their religion, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not a slur. <laughs> Pre COVID, yeah, I was never walking anywhere in New York and there'd be mad monks and they try to hand you this gold no, shit and you'd be like, oh, that's fire. And then you'd grab it and they would hold it and be like, $10. <laughs> it was music? No, no it's some like monk good luck charm. No, please don't oh. say that. It's not a bad word. It's not a bad word. I okay. promise you. Okay. <laughs> Joe's stupid. Does it rhyme Joe. with it? Does it rhyme with a bad word? Where am I getting it from? I don't know. There's a bad word that's similar to that. Well, you're a rapper. There's Figure a lot, it out. All the bad words are no. similar, right? <laughs> Donk? You're white. You created whatever it is. <laughs> hmm. uh, what were we about to talk about? Spotify stock slips after the Joe Button podcast <laughs> told them niggas to suck our dick and you're not going to value this properly and you go can't go out just spending $300 million on everything expecting it to Except work us. for the next few years. <clears throat> right. I was about to say, make that clear, not us. But it was never about us. Y'all wasn't no. ever going to get $300 million. Y'all white boys were black people. I know. <laughs> What did y'all think y'all was getting? Welcome to our culture. Yeah, it wasn't getting shit. I, listen, I should have paid the ten dollars to the monk. Shares, <laughs> shares of Spotify. Shares of Spotify, and I got this from our sister's uh, site. Because <laughs> <laughs> the variety's our sister's site. <laughs> shares of Spotify took a hit after analysts at City downgraded the stock because the audio streaming giant hasn't shown any material benefit from its $800 million plus investment in podcasting content and tech. Speaking of tech, what did y'all do with all y'all uh, Nike tech suits? More you used to have the, you had all of the pink one. I still wear them. I still wear them. <laughs> I still got them. You still got them? Yeah. You ain't throw eBay that on them yet? Huh? You ain't eBay them yet? Nah. I still wear mine. Huh? Yeah, I wear them if I'm just <laughs> running some errands like around a Round, uh, round listen, all of us aren't running to the new Givenchy sneaker. We still like Nike Tech. I'm not doing and that either, by the way. Shit, they're, they're super comfortable. Amazing. Yeah. Boy, the, the more shows I fund, the more my closet <laughs> takes a hit for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in Levi's and black oh, tees all day yeah, in no time, goes, buddy. Y'all not noticing, boy. <laughs> These black and Mary sweats the last five months. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't been peeping. Y'all ain't peep. Spotify stock price closed down six point six percent Friday to three hundred nineteen dollars eighty two cent per share. Outpacing smaller declines in the broader market. In 2020, shares of the company more than doubled in value on investor enthusiasm for Spotify's global expansion and business model, including its push into podcasts. Do we need to read the rest? We'll read this last paragraph. The cadence of Spotify premium gross additions through quarter three, 2020, and app download data through quarter four, 2020, do not show any material benefit from recent podcast investments that begin in 2019. The team of city analysts led by Jason Bazinet said in a research note Friday, cutting their rating on Spotify stock from neutral to sell. Now, react. We told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Joe, take it away. <laughs> Please, somebody mean this. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm tired of telling these niggas to nail this. Not so crazy now. Yeah, man. Listen, it's not that I'm some type of digital. Forecast genius. Joe, just 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 say it's not your X, that's your Y. There you go. I love the callback. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a dumb line. <laughs> you got Y's out here. Yeah. Um. Do you have any what ifs? Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty. Spotify kicked off call, its call podcast one. growth initiative in early 2019. Yeah, we're going to get to that before the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> buying podcast studios, Gimlet Media and Podcast, and podcast self-publishing uh, publishing platform Anchor, paying nearly $400 million for them with additional potential payouts over four years. Last year, Spotify bought Bill Simmons' The Ringer podcast and media startup in a deal worth up to uh, nearly $200 million and spent $235 million in cash to buy podcast publishing and ad company Megaphone. Sounds like over a billion to me pretty quickly. Yeah. Mm. 
So now, how do we unpack this? What I mean, would you want to see if you spend a, mil- a billion dollars? <laughs> what would you need to see? Also, also by the, also by the what way, it is a little to- early to see return on investment with certain things here. How? So I know we're laughing, but it's, a little, it it's a little early. Let's be honest. Let's not just shit on our exes. Let's be objective. <laughs> no, it's, no, no. It's a little early. How is it early, I'm asking? I'm not trying to shit on them. Like, um, walk me through it. To see value and an upstream when you invest $800 million, I'm not doing that off the first year and a half. Sorry. But it hasn't been a, the, a, the first year and a half. You're right. Oh, three years maybe? This I started, mean, of course they were investing before. I'm listen, saying this, when this, they actually Even this it. article is wrong. They're saying, uh, they're saying, uh, well, no. Yeah, that's right. They're saying early 2019 is when they kicked their yeah, shit off. But early means, early means February 2019. We started in September 2018. Uh, us, Amy Schumer. So you saw what you needed to see for six months, and then you went on a spending spree. Because they saw what we did and said this is a profitable business. Yeah, but let's not but, make it about us right now. Let's no, keep let's it on. About us. In, in, in February 2019, y'all started. Mm-hmm. And like I said a few months ago, sometimes when you spend a lot of money, uh, to, to, uh, when you continue to spend a lot of money making mistakes, sometimes the best way for you to try to fix it is to spend more money to cover up mistakes. Mm-hmm. Facts. Just a few months ago, often. we were in here, and I was saying, this just doesn't seem like it's sustainable for you to continue to pay $100, $200, $300, $400 million for shit, and we never see the results. Now, you don't have to show them to us, but you have to show them to somebody. You may not have to show Joe your data. You could tell me, suck dick. But somebody has to see your data at some point. So when you tell me that you paid this much for the Kim Kardashian show, mm-hmm. know what uh, I'm going to say for the next. Know what I'm going to say for the next eight months. Where's the show? Mm-hmm. Like, let's see what happened. You have to bear results at some point. When you tell me you got Michelle Obama and then it comes in and it's sporadic, it's here and there, it's every week, it's here one week now, it's everywhere here. Like, it's all over the place. Now you're announcing Prince Harry, Prince Harry, and somebody else. In, in, in all likely, likelihood, when is that coming? Rogan is there, but he just got there, just got exclusive. So, I mean, he hasn't had a time to make his presence felt yet. Well, here's He's the, been there here's, a week. Here's the thing with that on a kind of a separate topic of just creative shit. Joe Rogan is the only podcaster there in that entire paragraph. Well, and then it's that part, too. When you, but, when you, try, to, when you try to buy up popularity, it doesn't mean the product's going to be good. Yeah, Rogan but, is the only one that produces a good product. That's been proven out of everyone there. So you're spending a whole bunch of money on people that you think have communities that you're going to bring. And that doesn't necessarily mean because I love the Obamas that I'm going to go pay to listen to a podcast from them. Right. Or Kim Kardashian or vice versa. Not even going to make it personal there. But at the same time, I still stand by when you invest $800 million, two years, three years, I'm not going to sit there and say I'm expecting immediate results. Well, it's, safe, it's, safe, it's safe to say things don't look good. Sure. Okay. Yo, what am I watching right now? Yo, Alex, bring that back up. What the fuck was that? What am I looking at right this second? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I w- <laughs> well, they added versus TV. Um, breaking, breaking, breaking. We're looking at something on the screen that says the NFL and versus are partnering for NFL Pro Bowl versus presented by Verizon. Uh, and this is 126 through 129. Is that mm-hmm. Pro Bowl weekend? I'm assuming there is no actual. I didn't Pro know Pro Bowl. Bowl had there's a no weekend. actual Pro Bowl this year. There usually is a Pro Bowl weekend, but oh well. Let's just read How about that. From sure. January 26th to the 29th, the most dynamic NFL stars face off live in the ultimate highlight competition, showcasing their best on and off field moments. Which Pro Bowl players do you want to see go to head, head to head? None of them. <laughs> not a, don't don't do that. None. Don't do that. Why not? I love that. We've, we've talked about verses on here where it can move on to shit outside of music, and I think this is great. I know sports junkies that would love to debate highlight versus highlight of what was the better catch. Don't do that. Just because it's not something you want doesn't mean this isn't some cool but shit. But I feel like, no, okay. But when they say on off the field as well, I, I feel like we're going to get a lot of dancing anything videos. anything off the field. I feel like we're going to get mostly dancing videos and very few crazy I, catches. I could care less about off the field shit. If you want to do catch versus catch or... Touchdown versus touchdown. Well, I don't want to see the offensive line versus, I'm sorry. But running backs and receivers, quarterbacks. I'm here to I'm tell sure you that this is mostly going to be dancing. I'm here to tell you that I won't be watching this shit. What is Rory talking about? 
Versus. No, Rory's right. If it was actually, Flame, you, if it's actually going to be, you guys that, base just, you guys base too much off your taste. No, I base off. I love no, the I'm, NFL. I'm, I'm, so I won't be watching this shit. I love the NFL. You know how many? I don't want to watch. You know how many wide receivers dance against that each other. only care about <laughs> sports. No, I, I agree. Off field shit, fuck that. And even on the field dancing, I don't care. I'm talking about yeah. actual highlights. I think the sports world would love that. Yeah, I think it sounds good. And it's not probably something I'm gonna. I don't want to see, in, but I don't I see think current players looking at the highlights and saying, oh, that catch was better than yours. I, I'm, I'm cool. I just don't want to see that. Yeah. Shout okay, out to Versus, okay, though. Okay, but the, the same group that they're targeting here could look at us and say, why do you guys care about what song is better? That's different. No, it's not. It's, it's a little different. I'll be curious to see how they structure it, Rory. I'm with you. If, they, if it's... Highlight films, if they're doing like... Uh, off-field scares practice, me. <laughs> off-field scares me. That's the part that scares me. Tell me the last time y'all cared about the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl's been pretty bad. Uh, it's been pretty shit. Tell me the, years, no, 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 no. But that's, uh, that, under, that understates what I'm saying. Give me the last time. I'm not honestly sure that I've cared about the probably, Pro Bowl ever. Probably never. Honestly. Probably never, honestly. right? It's Rory, probably the, when, Rory, when in your life have you cared about it? It's probably the least interesting... Um, I've, well, I, caring and watching are those... Star. I don't care about watching. Yeah. I've, I've, I've watched it. It's probably the no, least interesting about All Star Week. No, I haven't cared about it. You haven't Although cared the, about what, it. The what's called the dodgeball is pretty cool. But you that, haven't that cared about like, it. You haven't cared about it for quite some time. Yeah. No, no one. Plays. No one. Pardon me. Yeah. No one has cared about it for quite some time. Maul, I'm certain. That, uh, no, I think I'm at certain, one point pardon the me for two seconds, Roy. Let me just get this out because I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget, and then you could reply to me. I'm sure that their data and research, Maul, the Pro Bowl people show that this ain't it. The players have come forth and said, yo, I don't care. I can go to Hawaii on my own. <laughs> right. I don't need this trip. And it's a weird time because it's during the, the newer, Super Bowl, right? They've moved hey, it a couple times. Okay. The newer players have come forth and said, nah, why? Yeah. In, the la- in recent years, the argument has come, hey, do we even need this event? Yeah. Right? Right? Mm-hmm. Am I right so far? Mm-hmm. Uh, not really. And but how, how am I, what am I not right about so far? At one point, and I had to make sure to make sure I wasn't bugging. At one point, the Pro Bowl was watched more than Game One of the World Series. Another in, in, failing event. In in 2018, it's over 11 million viewers. Like you can't say no one watches it and no one cares. That's why I'm saying I don't go off my taste at every decision that's made by I'm people that have more head, money than me. And I would put on the Pro Bowl because it usually happened after the season when there was no more football. And, so and, I was like, fuck it. At least I get one last little hurrah. And it was always a terrible game. And the uh, unlike the NBA, they had the skills competition and shit that makes it interesting. Or the home run derby in the Major League Baseball. There was no interesting side things in the NFL Pro Bowl that were good until they introduced the dodgeball thing, which is kind of funny, but. It's in. Our I mean, I, I enjoyed when Chad Johnson and the receivers used to do all those other challenges and go head to head. Like I thought it was cool. It's their version of All Star Weekend. Yeah, I was never mad. It wasn't something I cared for. But again, I don't base these decisions off my taste. There's a world for this. This is going to be a good thing. People care about catch versus catch. They debate it. It's a reason ESPN is a 24 hour network. People want to talk about sports all day. It's the sure. same no, thing I, with music. I'm with you on that, which is why my statement yeah. was I won't be watching this. Yeah. I'm not well, saying people won't. Well, that, well, that's what I started with, too. Yeah, and I and, and Rory said I was wrong. I'm cool. I'm not watching this like I'm not watching the fourth round of Daylight vs. Lux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you tell me Wait, about well, it. I can't really, I can't really read, read I just, this graph, but I've lived, and I know that impact, like we just talked about. Nah, and I know you can't continue to have an event without players, so I don't really care about that. <laughs> I'd rather watch and American it, Gladiator. What I'm, <laughs> my only issue <laughs> is... But you know, sports need to adjust to Corona the same way music did and how Versus was created was because we were adjusting to a time of I being inside. Sports has to you be the white, same. You white people go do it without us. Uh, trust me, I don't okay, want to see. I don't want to see you wh- white. That's my point. Though. I definitely don't want to see you. I don't want to see, see white people in a versus <laughs> with with ath- like anything athletic. <laughs> Listen, y'all joking. I don't really find too much about this shit funny. Y'all are and, football, and on top of that, versus is you, black owned. You are football, and I don't know that either. You are football, and you have football. Swiss told us. I am done speaking for ownership when none of us on the ground level know anything about it. <laughs> I'll take Swiss's word. There's mad niggas that's front men. We run around thinking Virgil owns some shit for a while. They take and they sell their shit to some white people and we run around and keep saying that black people own it. Stop it. I, I don't, don't know. know. What Swiss I said. don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. But what I do know is y'all have football. It's yours. 
You own the rights to it. If y'all don't have a capable brain up there to figure out how to make football or the Pro Bowl cool, now y'all got to come and holler at birds. I think it's nasty and cheap. And I'm tired of everybody else using music to do it. I think it's whack. Not just music. I mean, NFL's done that. It's whack. It's whack. It's, whack. it's corny and it's whack. The halftime now, show. Now. <laughs> Jay-Z's in charge of the cultural <laughs> that you Yeah, so you don't know that this wasn't a Swizz, uh, Swizz whole thing. Bah humbug. <laughs> I, I, bah, I could very well see this being a Swizz Timbaland whole thing. I, for I, sure. I, I wouldn't care if they authorized it. I'm standing by my what I'm saying. I think it's nasty. I'm not arguing your point. I'm still just, I don't <laughs> yeah. want to watch wide receivers. Yeah, I'm not arguing it at all. Yeah, listen, saying, yeah. This could be great for Timberland, Timberland uh, Swiss, all parties involved. This flyer even looks corny. Tell me that Swiss or Timberland came up with this flyer. No, that flyer. No, all right, I'm done with this. That's, that's a Verizon bad, came up with it. That's I'm a done bad with flyer. That's a Verizon flyer. I'm done it with it. It looks more like the Sprint colors, ironically. Verizon definitely came up anyway. with it. Oh, I see what Verizon versus they tried to play off uh, uh, Verusses. Yeah, Verusses. <laughs> I hate, they tried I to hate get both of you. <laughs> you see, they tried to get their Verusses. It's cool. I'm not letting them uh, capitalize off my emotional currency this year. Uh, <laughs> you tell them, sis. No, you're not going <laughs> to keep some of that currency. to yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm not going to hey, do that. Hey, SZA, good days. So, Rory, don't call me trying to come over and watch the Pro Bowl versus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your crib empty? You want to make some wings? <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched a versus with you in my life. <laughs> you watched the versus with me. So you maybe one out, out of 20. Also, what do you know? You found one. <laughs> I said maybe. So you found I one. I know that's true. It was one. It was one. Oh, come man. on, tell them we're friends. <laughs> no. They guys hate to we're buddies. We're, we're co-workers. Uh, RCA records for most Mark Pitts to press. You know the fucking vibes. Round of applause, perhaps? Yeah. Shout, shout out Mark Pitts. Congrats to Mark Pitts. That's big. That's big. Well deserved. Yeah. Loudest applaud in the, uh, applause in the world. Congratulations to Mark Pitts. RCA, uh, RCA records has changed. Fam, what do you do that on purpose? RCA records has changed its leadership structure. Mark Pitts rises from RCA's president of urban music to RCA Records president. What do you know? Uh, because they've been bodying everything urban, period. For a decade. Uh, RCA, RCA speaks for itself with their roster and what they're putting out right now. John Fleckenstein, who had served as co-president since 2018, has been upped to chief operating. Oh, they cook it. They cook it over there. COO. Both will continue to report to Peter Edge, labels chairman and CEO. RCA Records was a Shout different company. Peter. Even just, oh, you know Peter should do it? Go ahead. Shout out to Peter. <laughs> RCA Records was a different parent, uh, a different company even just a few years ago, Edge said in a statement. Over the past decade, there has been a genre shift in consumer demand and streaming has revolu uh, revolutionized every aspect of our business. So we must constantly adapt and iterate on our successes. And I'm not mad at the NFL for that part. That part is true. You should constantly adapt and iterate on your shit. And if you see a good idea, you should partner. I, I don't want you to think I'm mad at the partnering. I'm just mad at the uh, You've spent the last month saying stop, stop with partnerships. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are in a deal. <laughs> You're not partners. I'm all for partnerships, by the way. Um, congratulations, Mark Pitts. Yeah, that, no, that's I just, huge. I, RCA that's has, has well been deserved. one of my, and this isn't even a, this is a consumer thing, not a, a industry thing. I just love that they focus on dope R&B. Yeah. They just have an amazing roster and always put out great shit. True. Shout out Sanji and that whole world at RCA. Were we talking about RCA or Spotify? Uh, RCA. RCA. Yeah. Oh, let's get back to Spotify. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy just won't ever shut up about his exes. <laughs> his wise. <laughs> <laughs> Call Spotify, man. No, this is not about. This is not about them. I know that's a funny joke. It's cool. The bitter ex thing. It's it's true. I get it. This is always about sheer arrogance and like entitlement. Like I always say, I always say that we're that we are in this position because we are humble servants of the people, or at least I feel that way about me. Like I do too. I have to allow for grace because the people put you here, and the people cannot put you here, right? Mm -hmm. So it's always about the people, the churches, the market. Mm -hmm. Spotify shouldn't have had that position because they innovated something allegedly. And when you innovate something, you should be prepared for other people to emulate that. 
mm-hmm. or for people to try to improve on your design, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they well, it, less about me. For a little while, they just had a runway of head start over other companies with the capital to match them and the resources. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they spent a billion and beat people. But what do you do when the people that have a billion get to thinking about what they can do with a billion? And then I say all this because there's a report that Apple has something coming. Mm. You want the name? I don't want the name. Okay. I can't read it. I won't say it. But something it's been, leaked. It's been rumored. <laughs> that said Apple had something coming. I also read something that said somebody else had something coming. Okay. What will those things do that we'll get in depth on in the weeks and months to come, I'm sure. Uh What will those things do to affect Spotify's standing? And if you're plummeting now with your internal issues, just what happens when you're when the ops start spending too and well, when they start getting to, creative with it. That's all. This is not an attack on them. I got people uh, I care and, about that work over yeah, there. No, I mean, we just have to wait and see what Apple does and what whoever else does. But I understand, yeah, when, when, when people that have the same, if not more money available that you do, when they decide to jump into that same market, it does make things like, okay, now there's other people on this block now that can do what I can do. Uh, Apple's also, got a couple bucks. Yeah. And it's also a little different when... Your op owns the hardware. Right. Yeah. And let me be honest with y'all. And created the word. It's like a culture. <laughs> that is something that I'm working on. Like, I'm working on not feeling gratified when I'm right. <laughs> no, keep going. I like yeah. it. No, that was the end. I haven't mastered it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a punch. Yeah, I just... The fans treated me so bad, and then we getting off of this because we two hours in. But some of those fans treated me real bad. It was like, oh, the nerve for you to think that you're so important and then fuck out of here, you're crying and them. And then that wasn't my point. My point was, hey, me and my friends are gonna are gonna not if we take our productivity away for the shorts you're giving. Mm. Then what does it start to materialize as? Mm. Right. See, and that's when it comes down to just knowing your worth. Not for me to get on that rant, but this applies to everybody, everybody out there. I try to preach that to every creator. If you know your worth, who knows what you'll do when you just move certain places. Right. I'm anxious to see what happens uh, with this. I'm anxious to see uh, how Spotify solves that. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on it because we talk for a living. So Yeah. And who knows? <laughs> and, and Spotify pod. decides to get it right. And, you know, just revisit some things. Never know. Never want to say never. Well, you, you can always get it right. Yeah, but to true. get it right, don't you? you have to recognize that there's a wrong. Oh, absolutely. And that's really tough for, for wealthy, powerful people yeah. to do yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Which and, is how a lot of bad with your ex is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smack on the ass when you see that. Come on, you know that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I think we finally come to that day. It's not one ex that I can sleep with still. Okay. They're all wow. gone. They're all that's gone. probably a good thing, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's, I mean, that's actually kind of a bad space to be in when you can sleep with your exes. It causes confusion and weird shit. No, you're, it does. you're absolutely right. It's just who knew the day would come. <laughs> <laughs> As a man, you never knew that day would come. It's like rapping. I never knew the day would come where it's like I wouldn't I, where I wouldn't want to wake up and rhyme words, but then it happened. It's well, like, well, well, oh, ki- shit. Well, King, you can get yourself to that place by saying you can't sleep with me. Mm. Well, that's what I've been on, Rory. My God. No, that's what I've been on. Yeah, protect your body. Know your work. <laughs> that gets real annoying, too, if they're in person. <laughs> 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 and look much better when they were with you. Oh my god, that's the thing, man. You know what? <laughs> Come on, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> former NBA star Lamar Odom joins celebrity Hello, boxing sit down, man. circuit. Sit down. I'm tossing this to Maul. Sit down. Please well, just stop, bro. Stop. Don't don't do this. Do not do this. Why are you saying this? Because man, you uh, you know like you can't they, fight. You cannot play box. You cannot do that. Well, what this if the not, other person is play boxing? No, 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 no. This is not, you can't play box. You're going to get hurt. He's 6'10". You're going to get hurt. Some reach. <laughs> He's 6'10 with reach okay. and weight. Okay. This is not Nate Robinson. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm this with not. This is not, this, because I, 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 I already see this is going to try to become a trend thing, and this is not, you Anything that grosses boxing. that much money becomes a trend. For yeah, sure. But, yeah, but it's like, you, all money ain't good money, though. And no. if you go in there well, and get I just a, said that about the fuck. You know what? Never mind. You get, you get <laughs> a serious, <laughs> you get a serious injury or some shit like that, and you know, like you can't, you can't he play. He ain't this. playing ball no more. You know he's living though. That's true. 
No, what's, what's, what scares me is that Lamar might be in a place where he's doing this because he desperately needs money, and, and, that's that, the and problem. that make and that makes me sad. But that's the I problem. love Lamar. Odom. So give him some money. <laughs> I Joe am about to sign for a celebrity boxing match too because I need money. <laughs> Now it's becoming a thing. I don't know if you guys are in the YouTube world of King Erner versus Paparazzi Poe, but I'm, I'm not in that world. Actually. No, you get down. down. No, you. I see you would kill in the non-celebrity boxing match. <laughs> like you probably. Oh no, no, no. That's a fact. And I'm not a celebrity, but I could box. So but yeah, I would kill in that world. It doesn't happen. Look it up. Google it. Hold- yeah, just please. Sorry, don't that was an ad. Tom soon. <laughs> don't box. It's just not something to play with. Pick his opponent for him. Lamar. Mm-hmm. I just I just want him to just sit down. And go home. I don't want him to box. So okay. Go home. go home, man. So you're he not should even, so even going to try to think of an opponent. No, I, but I think I think Lamar Odom should get a coaching gig. I think he he could coach a lot of these bigs in the league now and help them with their game. I like that idea because I think Lamar Odom, as someone that was raised around addicts and is an addict, we need structure. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what Lamar Odom needs, too. So I think a coaching job would be amazing. Yeah, still like being in the league, being in the NBA. You got to get up a certain time, be at practice, travel, work, you know, yeah. work out. It's one way to look at it. Yeah. I Other think way, that's good for him. when you're an addict, you don't really feel every hit that touch your body. <laughs> like, he might have an advantage. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, I ain't, I Did they name his opponent? I ain't feel when they stabbed no. me. No. Huh? I ain't you feel, feel a thing. Walk right through Look them. at me making it sound like a tough street fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they. <laughs> Yo, speaking, yeah. Speaking, speaking of Spotify, have, have I wait, told let's, Wait, let's not brush over this. I've lied on that story mad times. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Which story? Why? I'm getting stabbed. Well, it's, that's what I was going to Because sometimes to. it's fun. Oh, to lie on it? Yeah, damn, what happened? It was 10 p.m. one night. Yeah. <laughs> Five dudes just it came. It was out. 10 p.m. Yeah. 10 niggas ran in the house. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock on the dot, Knocked and I'm four of them niggas five, <laughs> five, five dudes approached me from behind. I yeah. fought four of them off, but this one. He caught me. He had it on me. He caught me. <laughs> yeah, he got me, man. <laughs> no, I was going to get to when we did that first Spotify photo shoot. And we had like our little green room where we was changing and Joe had his shirt off and a middle-aged white exec from Spotify said, Joe, what happened to your stomach there? And Joe casually said, my baby mother stabbed me. And she was like, oh. <laughs> you asked. Huh. You asked. That's what happened. <laughs> Yo, I literally had tears coming out my eyes. Well, how about eyes. that? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they'll do that, huh? See, if she was fine, I would call her and see if she wants to apologize to that, about that. But she's the baby mom? Yeah. You should just leave that one alone. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, she just called my voice evil yesterday. Yeah, so yeah exactly. Like, just leave it alone. We see yeah. where she's going. Water, water under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> enough for nothing. She won. <laughs> right. She already won. <laughs> like, <laughs> she got her shit off. Yeah, like she learned you. Yeah, you don't want to fuck around with her. Leave her alone, Joe. Please. Just give me three more years of your life, Joe. After that, <laughs> get, get stabbed by who you want. Yeah, get, you know, get stabbed as many times as you want, bro. We don't want that for you. No. See, that's the thing about that, man. When you think about just some of the stories that as you co-parent and that your son's mom is telling your kid, like, you don't even get to that point. And I stabbed that nigga up. <laughs> and he thought shit was sweet one day. <laughs> Wait, don't tell my kid that. Don't do that. <laughs> Poke team. Don't tell my son about that. All right? <laughs> um, update from Ice-T. And thank God we have Ice-T to give us updates. Right. Uh, Shout out Ice. Just FaceTime with Dr. Dre. Uh, he just made it home safe, safe and looking good. Love to hear that. Awesome. Thank God. Great news. Thank God. Round of applause for that, man. I'm not round of applause, and yet I'd like to know if they pinpointed some of the difficulties that he was having health wise. Because the last story we heard was they didn't know really. Well, aneurysm. Well, they don't uh, yeah. know. It's the, it, that's the that's the scary part about aneurysms. We talked about it last week. Yeah, when it's they not find necessarily that shit. caused by a lifestyle or the, hereditary thing. Then I'm not going home yet. Well, if he's home, Dave, I, run I enough test, and yeah, they feel like it's safe for him to run go. more. <laughs> run more. Uh, he had the best. He had the best doctors. Believe that. And you don't know if he's going home with yeah, a doctor that's going to live in his house. Let's wait yeah. for Doctor Schnuzenheisen to come in from India, though, and run some tests too. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Schnuzenheisen. He could probably set up something yeah. in, the, in the West Wing yeah. to accommodate. Let's just slow down he's before fine. you send me home. And y'all going to trigger me because uh, in recent years, I've learned how fast they kick people out of hospitals. Yeah. Well, so, especially in this time. In- uh, yeah. yeah. Um, what was that right before this? What did Lil Flip say? <laughs> <laughs> only only facts. Most importantly. Just tell me what Lil Flip said. Can we hear it? Only, only Can I facts. hear what Lil Flip said? Can we pull this up somehow? Yeah, I got it. 
Oh, uh, Lil Flip says he compares his career to LeBron James, and rightfully so. God damn it. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, find a lot. I didn't think about it that way, but now that we're here, he's right. <laughs> yeah. But, but why is he? Why is he telling us? I now? always put them in the same breath. But what? <laughs> <laughs> what? But he said LeBron James, Floyd May- Mayweather, and Michael Jordan. Oh yeah, all three. Well, think about it. They've done. They've all done a little flip before. Yeah. If you're in, if you're in the breath yeah. with LeBron, you're in the breath with Mike. <laughs> Saying Mike did a little flip. He did a little. He did a little cartwheel. Did a little <laughs> he did a little cartwheel. He's next. <laughs> <laughs> if you flip before, then you're in the same vein as little flip. Right now, I, I got feel like so. and, and back to the Bron question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there was a Bron more question. So, like, when I compare my career. You know, I compare it to, you know, three people. I, I compare it to Floyd Mayweather. Right. Facts. I compare it to Jordan, and I compare right. it to LeBron. Naturally. Um, <laughs> with LeBron, you know, doing what he did, like, mm-hmm. coming out being so young. <laughs> yeah, I'm the youngest person in the screwed up clique. So, you know, mm-hmm. oh. everybody, he's a chosen one. You know, he, oh. people didn't want to agree with it. They didn't see it. Hey. They feel like, some people feel wow. like, if you're too young, you can't be that great. Like, nah, man, it's not. It's possible for you to be a child prodigy, just like Michael Jackson, and mm-hmm. stuff. so like, like LeBron went through a whole bunch of stuff, and and you can be great, like my career. I, man, come on, when it comes to bars, like, cause you know down south they don't really respect us as lyricists. Lyric. Yeah. He treated her I like milk. he did nothing but spoil her. And being an MC, that when you hear a verse from right now, I feel like and, and back to the LeBron. All right, tell us something. If I didn't say something no, that no, make you say, ah, oh, rewind it, or what did he just say, or then I do my job. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. so, point. no matter all the plaques I got, <laughs> 25 million albums sold, 13 million ringtones, yeah, never sold my soul. I, I hate interviewers. Can you so please much. turn this off? Because I have too much respect for Lil Flip. I love Lil Flip. The longer this plays, it's going to sound like I don't have respect for Lil Flip, and I do. He's the man. But I see where he was going with the child prodigy thing because he was younger. And he was the first to do some shit. But I love Little Flip too, but just because Braun Floyd and Michael Jordan were also once young and he was also <laughs> once young doesn't mean you can put yourself in the same no, sentence. No, <laughs> let me let me stick up for Little Flip. Y'all let Biggie say anyone ask Jordan Tyson Jackson. And then everyone continued to try to do the same thing for twenty years. Why y'all let Biggie say it and Flip can't say it? Cause Big can say that. Okay. <laughs> you tell Flip then. <laughs> I'm not I fuck with Lil Flip. No, you tell him, Jim. That's all. Jim, <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell me, fuck with him. <laughs> and tell him right after, yo, big hey. can do that. You, <laughs> you, you no. on on the other hand, yeah, tell him no. for the on the other hand. Mm-hmm. All right, now this is crazy. Whatever this is. Now, first of all, for the past few weeks, I've been wanting to come in here and talk about Bitcoin. Uh, not because I'm so smart and know a lot about Bitcoin. You're a crypto bro now. Cripro. Crip Joe. Mm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Who wants some Sutashis? <laughs> uh, you want some Sutashis? Nobody even knows, right? Me neither. <laughs> See, look. Yo, you're an idiot. That's a problem now. <laughs> you're an idiot. That's a problem then. 2021, we're in a room full of people and none of us know about a Satoshi. Satoshi? What is that? I don't know. I, I just ordered that. At... See, and that's why. And that's why <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a sushi dish. <laughs> We laughing and joking, but in 2010, a few of my friends came up to me and tried to tell me about Bitcoin, and boy, did I laugh them out my living room. I asked them if I could spend that money <laughs> at the gas station to buy cigarettes, and they told me no. <laughs> and I said, well, what the fuck are you telling me about Bitcoin that for? That was it for you? <laughs> oh, man. I'm here only for Newports. Listen, you have to appreciate, uh, you have to look back in life and appreciate when you were stupid. Absolutely. Like when you just were in your own way and just were a real idiot. And that was one of those times. Fast forward 11 years later, and I'm in the same exact boat, but not so stupid anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of notable people and people that I respect are running around saying the same thing that they said in 2010, which is, boy, you better get some. Mm -hmm. And that's all that dudes like me who don't know nothing about it here. So I be needing more information or somebody to educate me and walk me through. Well, why do I need to get some? But I'm dumb when they try to explain it to me, so I never really know. So I, or, or for whim, I just went out there and I just got a little bit somehow. Mm-hmm. And I'm down today. Because mm-hmm. it's down. Yeah, I did nothing for things to be down. Right. <laughs> this is stock for dummies, if you're, <laughs> if the, you're the unaware. Dumbest. I woke up this morning and had my normal routine and my normal day. 
And then I looked at my phone looking for a text, maybe. And said, ah, let me just check some shit. And the arrow was like pointing to the basement. Uh, <laughs> that's how they go. And it said down like a high number. Then it showed me money that disappeared somehow. And Corey says it's in the atmosphere. <laughs> it's, it's, it's somewhere. In the it's in the yeah. It's in the I, cloud. iCloud. It's <laughs> in the iCloud. You just can't access it. Can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Stupid me is saying, well, what happened in the world that has the market down on not only Bitcoin, but maybe a few things. I'm invested in Bitcoin, so it's down, down. Mm -hmm. But they like, up. Oh, doesn't matter. Who cares? It's down. It's up. You in. If you in, you in. You out. You out. You still. You pull. I don't know shit about it. I just know I refuse to be late on it again. So I bought some. And there we are. I'm gonna buy some now. That it's down. Now, now that I now and now that and you should. Yeah. And you should. Um. And now that we're here in stock for dummies, I had to get that off before this story, because this is unbelievable to me. Man has two login attempts left to access 220 million dollars in Bitcoin before it's all lost. Fuck. <laughs> How many password attempts do you get? I wouldn't know. I'd be stressed password. out when Gmail tells me right. I got <laughs> yeah. one left. What, what's the hint? I don't know the hint. <laughs> so you get 10, 10 password attempts. Stefan Thomas, a German programmer living in... This guy is a German programmer and forgot the password? Shit. <laughs> yeah, that password would have been tatted on my arm, man. I'm not, you got I'm one of those uh, router passwords on there with the... Yeah. That exclamation 7 point. 7X9234. Yeah, no, no, no. A German programmer living in San Francisco owned 7,002 bitcoins in a digital wallet, which are worth $220 million. But the programmer can't access the money because he lost his password. They don't have a forget password? I don't think Bitcoin for, has for two hundred twenty million. Pass. There's no, you can't. All right, just forget. It was a joke. It's fine. He has tried eight times to guess the code, but with no shit, I could guess that. But with no, did you try just what's, password? What's, what's your what's your username? I always crack him with the one two three four. Ooh. Just a space bar. Try just space bar. Maybe that works. He ain't try one 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 one. <laughs> what's his ex's birthday? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, now Thomas just has two more chances to guess his password password correctly before the money is lost that's the part i don't get because i'm stupid mm. well there's no recovered password and there's nobody to override right, right. yeah so not with and, that and type does, of money does, on the does line. pit just get the yeah coin? where's the money <laughs> where does the money go if he it loses it? it's in the iCloud it's gone you gotta Little be kidding way. me it's in a nigga's pockets the hard drive known as iron key where thomas's bitcoins are held allows users 10 attempts to correctly guess their password before encrypting the contents permanently Bitcoin can al also can't. Wow. Bitcoin also cannot help Thomas since it doesn't store its users' passwords. Hey, lesson for all of us to who complain at Facebook and Instagram for hoarding <laughs> our information. Hey, right. if I got 220 M's on the line, hoard my shit. I might need you one day. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. Um, but, uh, uh, since it doesn't store its passwords, instead it gives users their own private key, uh, their own private iron key, which only they have access to. Listen, Steven, you got to put face ID on. <laughs> You'll get right in. But look what he said, though. I would, I would just lay in bed and think about it. See, Maul? Nigga, I lay in bed and think about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, <word. laughs> <laughs> Then I would go to the computer with some new strategy and it wouldn't work and I would be desperate again. Thomas was given the Bitcoins as a reward for making a 2011 animated video, What is Bitcoin? Explaining the cryptocurrency. Oh, this is This, this was story. a gift. This gets... <laughs> This is the story that just keeps storing. Uh, the programmer said he lost the paper that the password was written on that year. Okay. Oh, so this has been gone. Oh, Let fuck. me ask y'all this. What would y'all do with the two remaining attempts? I don't know. I'm never touching it. Yeah, I'll probably never touch it. Wait, wait, and hope someone opens that shit up sometime. Because in the future, they have wait to come the up with a... for the hacker to come up with the, the solution. Yeah, that's definitely the solution. Sit on that motherfucker. I'll give you half if you can crack this. Somebody will find it, right? Uh, do you have enough confidence, though? Right. <laughs> it's two attempts. Yeah, you gotta give you gotta give him a couple other passwords to break into of, first. That's a lot of confidence in a hacker. Uh. Yo, this stock shit is so tricky because yesterday I was texting my friends and saying, "Man, I'm looking at this beautiful arrow going up. I just want to put money in here and just watch it go." And now today I'm like, "Let me just let it breeze through the phone, man. <laughs> I'm gonna just find something it's to get took into." A little while, yeah. 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 He need to find an ex girlfriend. She'll find, she'll figure out that fucking password. Mm. Quick, that's true. She need half a ten. What she a sick a predicament buckle. to even be in. Yeah, sick. So also, did somebody hit the Mega Millions finally? Because no. I didn't hear nothing about it. No, I don't know. It was four fifty and five fifty and seven fifty something stupid. I don't know. Google it. Figure it out. Seven hundred fifty million, right? And the Powerball six forty. 
And they say we're in a pandemic. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Well, we're in a pandemic, and that's what the lottery is. <laughs> huh? We're in a pandemic, and that's what the lottery is. The lottery is a pand- pandemic? You had to see how I was getting my shit off there. What'd you be saying to your, like, your London people? What do you mean? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> what I be saying? Yeah. Hello? Nah. Hello, hello bloke? Well, when I look to you, like... To engage in single shit, I can't. I can't get with them, and I don't have time. Oh, no, to, I, see, I, I don't have time you, to get through your barriers. No, no, I didn't know what you were asking. London said, is locked down. Yeah, if super you lock, have super any lockdown. woman that you talk to in London, super locked. Right now, I'm asking: Does the lockdown has lockdown done anything to your how you begin your shit off? Because somebody I know was getting their shit off like in a different way. Mm. Now mm-hmm. that it's like, nah, they locked down, locked down over there. They can't even like shit is closed. Yeah. Mall does have barriers. <laughs> I have what? Who is your gatekeeper? <laughs> Look, what? I Maul hear, got I mad didn't, I didn't hear what barriers. Do I have barriers? Yeah, we all do. No, but mad barriers. A lot mad. of shit for yeah, people yeah, to yours, have to work around and get it's around. Encrypted. The rest, yeah. the rest of us have Capitol building barriers. Yeah, yeah. you want to? Someone let you right in. Have you should, you should, you should get more security. Knocks. Yeah, you should get more security. <laughs> I mean, now you won't be crying on yourself to sleep at night. Well, the whites like me. <laughs> All right, on the unfortunate front, uh, Dustin Diamond, Screech from Saved by the Bell, has been diagnosed with stage four cancer. This was real sad for me to see. Yeah, this this is terrible. Uh, One, because Screech is a huge part of my upbringing and a lot of our upbringings. Mm -hmm. Uh, Two, because it's stage four cancer. Um, Actor, stand-up comedian, Diamond is best known for his performance as Samuel Screech Powers in the teen series. Y'all know who Screech is. I don't have to tell Mm -hmm. y'all. And just hope he's all right. Or as all right as you can be, prayers for Screech. Mm-hmm. Actors have appeared in a number of reality shows over the years, including Celebrity Fit. Yeah, it's Screech. You don't need to hear that. It's Screech. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is happening? Damn, look at Screech, man. He still looks like Screech. He does. Um, what else is happening? The Mega Millions, I don't care about. There was something else. There was something else. Yo, that was a, there was, there's a lot of actors in that movie that's coming out on HBO Max and the movie theaters. What, what movie Which is movie is this? The Denzel one? What is the name of that? There's a lot of dudes in there. I'm not hip. The Little Things. Maybe he ain't not hip. We've been talking about it the last two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we were just talking about the idea of... When is it coming out? Um, want to say end of this month? Let's find out. End of this month or end of February? I don't know. All I'm saying is a lot of really good actors are uh, in it, and I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, my what was the, what was the name of the, the Netflix special that he produced with Viola Davis and uh Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay, yeah, that was really good. I watched that on Netflix uh, last January twenty ninth. It's being released end of the month, January yeah, okay. twenty. Yeah, that's a movie night in my house. Has anyone seen One Night in Miami yet? That's Regina. No. That's Regina uh, Hall. Uh, is she Regina yes. King? Regina King. That's yes. Regina King. Yes. Uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, happy oh, okay. happy birthday to Regina King too. Today's her birthday. And happy birthday to Elliot again. Happy birthday, uh, Regina King. And shout out to Amazon Prime. Look at them, man, doing what needs to be done. Yeah. I haven't seen this. This might be my tonight thing, too. Some good shit going on, man. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be sick. What is that Don't Tell a Soul trailer? That looks good, too. All right, this ain't time to look at trailers. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Yo, when I just get to surfing, I just start clicking on some shit. Sure. Uh, what else is really important going on, going on, going on? Uh, let's see. Division, Spotify, uh, Insecure, season five, final uh, season. Man. Round of applause. Round of applause as soon as I find a round of applause. That's sad, though. I don't want to see that show, though. No, nah, it's great. Class, classic. It's show. great. It went out the it's way it was classic. supposed to. It's five seasons. Uh, she leveled up. Got a lot of big deals. Probably don't really have the time to get into this or keep this going. Like, she's leveling up. Yeah. So this is how you want to see it end. Not... Yo, we're canceling or discontinuing or we, it's run its course or they kill you off as the main character. We don't need to see none of that. Yeah. Or even like I wasn't a big game. I, well, I never watched Game of Thrones, but I tried to keep up with that last season and mm-hmm. catch up a little bit before the last season. Like, it's different if the the entire fan base feels like that fan base did. Like, oh, my God, what is this? Right. Starbucks cups is coffee here. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? We don't care about this. I don't think Insecure is going out like that. No. Nah. I mean, season four was amazing. Yeah. So... It's nice to be in control of your own destiny. Say that shit. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations to Issa, friend of the show. We love it's you. Nice to retire yourself before they retire you. Mm-hmm. 
and I great, still great, great show. This did, uh, we don't we'll, we'll recognize in a few. This did a lot for for black culture. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a classic show. Yeah. Um, is there something else I have to get to? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna say. 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 Chill. You two might take us down. We didn't even talk about the impeachment. I mean, <laughs> what, it's, it's next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I see a lot of people saying that, but like, maybe I don't have the range. But I have to assume that there are some other implications or some other things that come along with impeachment. Well, I talked about it uh, here. He wouldn't be able to run again for office. He wouldn't get the. And that's uh, all this is about. The Secret Service protection and. Uh, what's it called, pension or whatever after he retires. There's a lot of things that would come with it. I wonder if there are more things that come with a second impeachment. Or does everything mm-hmm. still stand? I don't think no, so. No, I think most importantly, they know that, again, you, I don't think you're able to run again for president. And I think that was the one thing that they wanted. They didn't, yeah. they didn't want him to even attempt to come back and run for president. Got it. So, I liked uh, the... I like when people are petty. I like the petty Nancy Pelosi wearing the same dress. It's just like interesting. This. It's just crazy because coming in, Trump, they accused him of rigging the election, and then going out, he accuses them of rigging the election. Like, I don't think people looked at it that way. Like it's just that's just whole this whole shit is just it's just political theater as far as I'm concerned. Scary times. Yeah. I still I, I still think Dan Quayle got robbed. <laughs> Dan Quayle. <laughs> <laughs> You it still guy. robbed old Dan. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> Dan was cooking up there when I was nine or eight. That was my first. That was my first introduction uh, into Quayle. into watching the presidential debates. Dan. And me at nine or eight, I have all it was. Dan cooking. Dan. Uh, listen, man. <laughs> was it Dan Quayle the one that spelled everything wrong? And yeah. Stu- yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I grew up on Ralph Nader. <laughs> Wait, who did he go against? Who's he was Ralph an Nader? independent. George, Clinton. George W. I believe. I'll get yeah. him out of here. He, was, he, was, I think he's been, he went through the Ralph whole 90s. Yeah, he might have he might went against Reagan. Like, he's around for a long He's time. been around forever. Oh, he's the caucus. Anyone Remember that's been a caucus? president, he went against. <laughs> Show it our age. Um, the caucus. But I don't, yeah, I don't have <laughs> no, nothing that's what, There was a presidential candidate yeah. named Dukakis in the 80s. And and the hanging Chad. He was yeah, a, that was, uh, that was uh, Mike. Michael Dukakis. Yeah. I think he went against Reagan. Anyway. Yeah. We're old. I think Dukakis might be the dude. Didn't he do some shit afterwards? For. Probably. I think it was Dukakis I was uh, rooting for. Who Dan Quayle went against? Uh, Clinton. Oh, it was Dukakis. Because he was George st- W.'s you know, VP, I believe. You know, I started with Dukakis. I always rooted for losers. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Quayle and Dukakis. You always go for the underdog, though, you know? Yeah, uh, listen, we're Knicks fans. Oh, uh, the Dems. <laughs> the <laughs> those, Dems. Those Dems. <laughs> Come on, Morgan, get this shit off. We're going to edit it out. I'm, just say I'm it. I'm done. <laughs> my shit. I'm over. It. Don Demo, is the out. Demorax. I, I can't have fun with this shit no more. Don is out, man. I can't have fun with this shit no more, man. He's gone. Um, is there something else that we need to say about the yeah, impeachment? Bye. He, was, he was impeached. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. This, yeah, this, impe- this impeachment is stupid. He's out of office. He's gone in a week. Like, this is stupid. Yeah, but get him out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's do what it it's anyway. about. Better they safe just, than they just don't want hey. him to be able to run again. That's what this Lock is about. Lock the door after hey. he leaves. Hey, bring all... Hey, Gather up all the senates in the auditorium. Well, That's what I was saying. All the senates. Hey, hey, get the- <laughs> all the senates in the auditorium. Get the senates. Hey, hey, go gather the senates up. Let's get this vote going. Let's get some checks and balances over here <laughs> ASAP. Oh, look at that. That flag looks oh, beautiful. It's such up. a piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> the American flag does look pretty cool. Who designed that flag? Somebody that owns slaves, I'm certain. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is it Betsy Ross? <laughs> Betsy. That's Betsy's work. You can't tell? Who really did it, though? Probably not Betsy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you put really in there? In the, in the, in the who, search who, bar? Who, who did, really did this? Yeah, no, she sampled it. Yeah, who designed <laughs> it? Really? She flipped it, though. Uh, what do you know? Betsy was black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about flag design. If I knew how to work some of those new cool apps, I'd jazz that up. <laughs> I'd jazz that flag right on up. What you put on there? Uh, not a bunch of stars and stripes. Mm. I saw a flag. I, I saw a design, a flag, a flag designer. Like the whites would never Medusa allow head? it. Medusa head? Huh? Medusa head? No. Oh, okay. 
but that's probably more appropriate for you guys' history here and the things things you've been doing. <laughs> you guys is <laughs> yeah. maybe LV. Logan. You guys is in the Senate. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! Parks got a black joke out there. What huh? you say? Black people like to do spend their money on Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what'd you say? I said you like to no, no. Oh, me, the black. I'm Tom. Oh, I thought you said Parks, 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 Did you say you people? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you mean by you people, yeah, buddy? You, yeah, what? yeah, I didn't hear you. Let's get clear audio on that. <laughs> yeah, turn the reverb up. <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah. when is Biden giving the money away? Anybody got their money yet? What, 1. 1.9 trillion in, into the COVIDs. Hey. We're going to add an S to everything like buttons. One point nine trillion, <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> hey, we got it. Pump that back. Yo, money is such a hilarious Yo, concept. I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you said pump that back. <laughs> Can I ask pump something that we're not allowed to ask? Sure. Does money exist? Hypothetically, no. Hypothetically, you. <laughs> if you and Rim have a kid mm -hmm. and break up, uh huh. <laughs> Rem stood up <laughs> and you would make more money by claiming said kid uh huh see this is weird if y'all had kids y'all know the next sense but I'm just saying uh, I claim basically on my taxes then why do they always claim the kid without talking to us about how it can be beneficial and behoove our family that's a deep question hum Rem <laughs> don't project on Rem <laughs> <laughs> to talk to your baby mother. <laughs> no, I don't have to talk to Lee Parks and Rem alone. I, I will not talk to my baby mother because you I'm, just called her. <laughs> well, I didn't talk to her. <laughs> I, I, say, didn't didn't hey, talk to her. I, I didn't get her on the phone. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Niggas told me it would be different when I'm rich. They lie. It's not same. It's all the same. It's not at all. It's worse. <laughs> it is so much worse. Um. All right. What else is there? What else is there? Uh, the vaccination uh, centers are open 24 hours, head to Jacob Javits. I know. What else you got? Uh, it's That's a lie. What? Running Jacob Javits? To just get the vaccine. My mom, who's on like that second tier. She's a B. Priority. B. Yes. Uh, just got the email like, ew, it's your time. And then she went on. It was like, hey, it's not your time. She oh, couldn't yeah. find <laughs> shit. She put in 50 miles, not even like, 20 uh, miles. Oh, it's hard to get, get She in. There's not a single... Time slot for my mom to get that vaccine. Yeah. Not the message Fauci wanted out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's well, important yeah, to get I that shit there. straight. No, not white. Because I wasn't there. Because y'all was, ri was riding dick. Not so white. You got to go to the hood. You got to go to like to the hood. Hood. Go to Queens and get get the joint in the basement. Why your mom don't be in the hood? Go honestly, go suburbs. You nah. you you have should been, go get a vaccination. You, you were with you yeah. were with my mom in the hood drinking Ace of Spades in St Albans. What are you talking about? No, that was nice over there. That was nice over there when y'all was having the baby battle off. The, the baby battle. <laughs> yeah, they was jamming. The house across the street was jamming. It was a who's gonna oh, yeah, jam? No, it was. Who's was. gonna jam the yeah, most? Who can jam the loudest? Yeah. But that crib across the street does that all the time, and we lose. <laughs> <laughs> they put way more firepower. They're Dominican uh, speakers. Nah, they're uh, Trini. Ah, oh, oh yeah, no, forget yeah, about yeah, it. No, no, they yeah, they no. blow not, us out not, the water. No, no, no. You don't have to tell me. Every smoke break, I was pop locking. <laughs> 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 I was killing the smoke breaks that day. <laughs> Um, there's nothing else we need to talk about. I had one more topic here about uh, how do you look when you're shazamming things, but we can talk about that on Wednesday. <laughs> Stupid. Say, Mom, please write that one down because that yeah. was a funny shazam topic. that, actually. I have it written. If you think in 2021 I'm relying on Savon, write this down, you're done. Or here. Shazam. That's not happening. I like anymore. Shazam, though. No, no. We, ain't, we ain't even say happy birthday. I Shazam talk records, about I know, man. just to remember to yeah, listen to them again. Yeah. <laughs> Save I'm glad on. I have it like on my watch. Well, I don't get to look on cool. Savon's birthday. We didn't say happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Savon. I, I texted him. So this next, this next sleeper him. right here. Oh. <laughs> you posted him. <laughs> this next little this next little doozy. Shout out the charts. Savon, you didn't feel away because none of us posted you? Yeah, I should have posted him. <laughs> Wait, when was your birthday? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. How, how, how old are you? Oh, no, I'm not wishing them 27-year-old nigga happy Yo, birthday. Yo, you Sa got mad years Sa to go Sa for Sa you in the game. Savon is at that age that you kind of can't blame shit on being young. I think 27 That's might true. be that that yeah. cut where nah, it's like, got, you can't get a, away with nah, some shit. He got a few more years left. He got about two years you, left. No, you got to do less big dumb shit. Yeah. You can get some dumb shit off, but not like not, like, not no, a big not, dumb no, not no shit granted, that's going to your I'm life. I'm 30 no. and do dumb shit every moment of every day. Sure. I just don't have the excuse anymore of, well, he's young. 
Right. Now, no, now you're just dumb. <laughs> yeah, so you got about two years left. Then after that, I feel you're like just 27 dumb. is that age where you don't have that excuse. How you feel though? Hungover, huh? Mm-hmm. You, fu- you, fu- you, you, you ain't got to drink anything? everything. You, you ain't got to drink everything. That's bro. how you get over it. Wait, how come you didn't invite us to your apartment for your birthday party? COVID, huh? Uh, I, run up in I that got shit another negative test today. I run up in that shit and get you evicted, nigga. Why nobody you going to your stupid ass house, nigga? <laughs> 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 that nigga try to floss on her. Nah, COVID. Yeah, COVID. Nigga, no vid. Yeah. Ain't nobody going over there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yo, would y'all would, would would y'all let would would y'all let you are sick. Erickson Erickson E rap would you film somebody fucking? Why? Really? Why not? I have different opportunities. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, look. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you some real shit, E. Hey, you, don't, I, you don't speak much, but you, that was yo, a great fucking answer. I, I have different I have opportunities. Wait, no, 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 no. That's, a, that's a better way of saying family. I'm not, not going to let him get that, that off, though. Like, why would that? That's not a bottom of the barrel Yeah, thing. I don't. That, I, I don't think that. I'm with him you. It is. I don't think I, that. I, I'm with you. I didn't think he would say that. Porn is a billion dollar business. I don't think that's like everything is. But for him, for him. You wouldn't film fucking? For him, he has better options. Have for you him. filmed yourself fucking? You film <laughs> us. <laughs> man, this fucking is better. Is better. Man, fucking is difference. better than us. <laughs> <laughs> fucking is way better than us. Yeah, I would watch fucking before I watch Any it. Any day of the week. Hey, you film us twice. You can film some <laughs> hey, fucking you keep walk. coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully the fucking don't last three hours. Right. Which, all right. All right. I didn't expect that answer from him. Would y'all let somebody film, film y'all fucking? Like uh, I'm not, not film, it. not like with the phone. I mean the professional camera setup, the lights, action. Now you walk in the room and you do what you gotta do. Can and I they practice filming. a couple times first? Because I want to like. Well, you fuck the person that. I mean, I know, uh, but you know, fucking and fucking on camera are two how different do you practice? things. You gotta figure out what the angles are and shit. That's, no, that's that's not his that, job. That's it's somebody's. Post. It's the camera that's, guy's that's in the job. Edit. <laughs> okay, they gonna edit you up, right? Oh, okay. Gets a little well, pink. Yeah, gets yeah. a little pink knees out the <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, I'll say I wouldn't have any problem the on camera shit. It would be the edit session that would probably bother yeah. me. Rory, oh, well, I'm, Rory, contr- Rory I'm controlling the edit. Rory was just being there arguing about the lighting. I don't look good in that light. That's true. <laughs> you can't see my hairline. Oh, it's either of them. Watch me find the my, best my force. My dick looks better in 1977 filter. <laughs> 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 I've done this before. <laughs> I'm finding the best four strokes to loop up. <laughs> just making a snippet. <laughs> Y'all not ready. <laughs> Damn, Joe going hard at that one spot. <laughs> no, 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 that's the loop. He has that's a real boomerang. Con- he has a real consistent stroke. <laughs> she must. <laughs> Joe boomerang his point. His point. <laughs> yeah, I came up. You said you wouldn't. Lights, cameras, and all that. Nah, action. I that. Uh, listen, man. Life, I want a life professional is to be sex tape. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad. I'm at tired it. of watching me with my camera swag. Yeah. Well, get get like a, a one, of, one of homegirls to to film it. All of the women that I know that film that are really great at it are married. What that mean? They can't film somebody having sex? I, I wouldn't ask that. Uh, oh, I'm not asking a married woman to come watch fucking. And, and, and if, if I was married, married I, women I, I may not be like, yo. <laughs> married women actually fuck. <laughs> but I wouldn't be like, bye, sweetie. Enjoy filming sex today. Yo, my sleeper plate. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're at the end of our podcast. We should shout you out. Would you gentlemen like to congratulate yo, me man. on my versus win? That was the From verses. Ch- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was on verses. How you clown the Pro Bowl? <laughs> I didn't oh, know that was on verses. Wow. Oh man! I didn't know that was on verses. But how did it go? I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear it. I didn't. What'd you lead off? Lead off with? You know, he came in with focus. That was your first that would be a good focus, first right? One. How nope. many records you guys do? They did eleven. Strange number. Uh, I think Joe started with uh, the Fab. Uh, started at the beginning Tiana Taylor. Of the list. Yeah, let me start with Love. Got to start with Love. Oh, you st- that was the first record you played. Mm-hmm. You don't like want that? me back? Yeah, want you back? Good start. Yeah, it won. Then Focus lost. What do you play? I have a list somewhere. Actually, I have the list. Let me read a little list. Let me stop say, this. I think I screenshotted it. Yeah, that took a picture trip. Oh. Let's see here. Hmm. I said I need to buy some more iCloud. Hmm. <laughs> They'll always tell you, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> when you could give them some money? Yeah, buy some more clouds. 
Because I be screen recording. These chicks want to fucking take 30 minutes for the nut. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, mom. Yo, you are just crazy. I'm asking man. you. Look, to, <laughs> answer me as a friend. Like, educate me. That's bad. You know, I'm just laughing you at scr- the shit that you just be doing. Man. It's like, only me, right? Just, no, I'm just laughing at you. <laughs> Let me see your phone. You I sp- just learned how to screen record like last month. So, it's not well, but once you learned, yeah. Yeah. tell me about it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the files is there. <laughs> this thing is crazy. We kept the files. <laughs> <laughs> every, every foul. Who got the stems? You or her? You. But Luck said they was mad that he. You always got. I'm mad he took that pick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. So you're not screen record. No. You good man? You a fucking. If I want, if I want, I just tell him send me a video. Do you know you a sly little devil? Listen, if I want, if I want some footage, I just ask for it, man. That's all. Yeah, but in a horny moment, that shit could go awry. Like, she don't answer the phone, then what you doing, like, a horny moment? No, you go back to the old work. I love Two weeks ago, I fell victim to the fucking automated OnlyFans messages. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, we was no, you that. didn't. We getting out of here. Don't worry about no, it. No, we was here for that. You, you, thought she said, that. She said, she said, thought you said, hey, babe, to you? Oh, no, I didn't think that. I just Erica's bought... Erica's in I, Jersey I, looking for a company. Look <laughs> at <laughs> Joe Tapped at you. Hey, Erica, what hey up? babe. <laughs> Trying to bounce this for you. Like, oh shit! <laughs> Joe tapped at you. Right, I'm right oh, here. Oh shit! I'm <laughs> I'm in Jersey too. <laughs> oh, you right in Clifton? That's up to you. I mean, hey right babe, up three. I'm so lonely and took this photo for you. Oh shit! We got link. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I went in there and just started retroactively buying the vids. I bought like six private vids. <laughs> Spent a cool buck fifty just, just chilling. I, I was in my bed feeling like I was the man. I felt, I felt like I just had an array, a plethora of chicks. Like, you know what? Nah, I don't like this one. I don't like swipe. It. Nah. She ain't even get nah. She ain't doing it for me. The lighting on this one, swipe. I don't see the little double ring lights plugged in. Oh my god. Um, well, let me see how real you are. Is your OnlyFans account? Is your name? Come on, man. Is oh, is it? It's you? Let me see. Let me know who it is. Let's see. Would you date a chick with OnlyFans? I think I asked you that. What's the concept? Probably. Rory, this is how real I am. Go ahead and put your hand right there in the search bar. I'm Tap not it. touching in nothing. The search <laughs> you buy right, seven. I did it. All right, I did it. I tapped it. Two clicks. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bragging about two clicks? <laughs> you got your face on your OnlyFans? Listen, you, look, and there go the message. Hit, hit the profile. Here go the inbox. I don't care about the hey, inbox. Hey, nah, Show but the they, let's, let's see what this little diva is saying to me. Hey, this daddy. Little diva. Ro- roadhead video on sale. <laughs> So sucking. pop in the roadhead video is nuts. <laughs> what Suck, needs that? This says sucking daddy's dick while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> jo- Joe said, Cop. Where, where, where she said, mm. Oh, wait, she kept going. I suck a good dick. Uh, going crazy emoji. That's the going crazy emoji right there. With the tongue out, with the eyes going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, close this shit. We got to go. We got to go. What she not say? Come see what I'm about. I'm not oh, this. shit, look. Hey. Hey. All right, look at the screenshot. She put the cover. She picked this for the cover. That's cover, cover art. <laughs> <laughs> That's a single artwork. <laughs> That's the cover art. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but if a chick asked you to be a uh, fuck buddy dude on OnlyFans, would you do it? Did I ask you that before, too, on the podcast? We've yeah. been going to, to six years, so I, I don't know. You would? Part would a chick want to give, sure. like, yeah. Roy? Not against it. Erickson? I'm just done with you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sick of Erickson yeah, with, his, yeah. with his opportunities. <laughs> I have better opportunities. Yo, yo, he think he said, has better opportunities. He said that to me after he got a raise from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right. That's what. That's when you get it all. Yo, are you kidding me? You gonna tape me fucking? Is what you? <laughs> you want to raise HR? You want to raise HR? Don't touch me. <laughs> Raising ass niggas. <laughs> Why am I playing this again? Oh, we out of here. Yeah, we out. I love this song. I'm going to cry to this. Great record. Oh my god. When I think of somebody I can call to this. Yo, real good pod today, man. 2021, keeping the positive vibes going again. Shout out to anybody out there with a family member or loved one suffering through COVID or any other health uh, health problems. Don't you love those jeans? <laughs> don't act like you don't love those jeans. <laughs> I do. <laughs> don't 
talking about girl jeans with the little butt cuff in the butt. <laughs> Like right here, and a little slit, little and, rip, oh, a little slit like right there. Just show us the end of the cheek. Yeah. Mm. My new thing is going back and following exes from fifteen years ago. I oh, fuck their whole head up. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> fuck their whole head up. The connections never. Like, I knew we'd find each other. <laughs> yes, Rory. See, Rory feels me. That's what I was trying to get more to get into with the London type thing. Is getting a shit off to the London chick. Yo, man, when we're allowed to be closer to each other. Mm. Like I just should be trying to imagine what it would be like. Like, yeah, no, we locked down right now. No, I know us too, man. But in my mind, I see us. I Ooh, wish, I wish you could oh fly my across. God, I wish you could get on the flight. I love this song. Says <laughs> 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 mm. I miss somebody. Two albums in a row of great music. All right, we out of here, man. <laughs> Get, Keep get, us in, get sizzle on this podcast, man. Mm. Listen, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time I bid you adieu. Uh, farewell, hasta la vista, arrivederci, so long, goodbye, adios, and all that good stuff. Shout out to all the creators and the podcasters out there, the curators, all of y'all. You cheated on me. On my dead granny, I ain't cheating on you. All right, bet. The fuck is you doing? Uh, she said you lying. This bitch crazy. You're leaving things out. Shovels and dead people. You think Joe Budden is the one that should bring up shovels? <laughs> 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 they already dragging me on the internet saying I killed somebody. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't. <laughs> Nor did I. I didn't say a word in any of that, by the way. Yeah. Just so you know. Um, we out of here, man. Keep us in your prayers. I told you that already. Uh, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this moment last as if it's all we have. Until next time. Wait, hold on. We talked about Atlanta Hawks. I didn't realize the hashtag was earn these letters after they posted the white guy in the MLK jersey. Earn these letters. You didn't mention that that was the hashtag. I didn't see that. <laughs> all right, never mind. I'm the only one that thinks that's hilarious. I, I don't catch it. I'm not, I'm not sure where you get it. You're talking about the Hawks and the Martin Luther King jersey. Come on. Uh, Listen, man, we getting the fuck out of here. Do remember. Earn these letters. The baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And closed-minded women want you to teach you, uh, want them to teach you something. Enjoy your headache. We gone. See you Wednesday. <laughs> Tell the niggas to enjoy their headaches. 